Alrighty, everybody. Hey, I actually remembered to turn on my mic for once. Anyway, welcome to uh, <laughs> Cyber Nation Uncensored. Uh, welcome to uh, Eddie's and Elf Lines for Cyberpunk Red, where you don't own anything, but you still pay for it anyway. I am Diamond Dust, your GM, and we are going to uh, work our way around the table. Uh, I know everybody is not in their proper boxes right now. Uh, Bedlam is still going to be on their way in. But we'll go ahead and start off uh, with, uh, we're going to start with Kiwi. Uh, hi, everyone. I am uh, Kiwi Waste. Um, I'll be playing your solo Trinity Silver today. And uh, yeah, super pumped for this cage match. Very excited for today. All right, uh, Jack. I am Dakri Jack, and today I'm playing Sparks, your tech, med tech, Ezek, uh, uh, glitch head, because I'm about to go crazy. Yeah, possible psycho. <laughs> just, just, just a little, just, just a touch. But in the meantime, I'm tripping balls. <laughs> Hang out with Lucy in the sky with those diamonds. Uh, next, we have Sasha. Hi, I'm Nikki Sasha. I'm playing. Uh... The Rockaway Nomad uh, Veronica, or Gaming Girl, uh, chronicling the group's events through the power of streaming. Oh, maybe uh, let's turn off gunfire. I will, not be, I will not be stepping into the uh, arena, because I, I am very much a long-range character. <laughs> Come on, a little variety is the spice of life now, isn't it? All right. Uh, Raven. Hello, my name is Ock Raven. Uh, you can find me at Instagram, Ock Raven Gaming, where I post usually what I'm doing here with the Cyber Nation community. Today I'm playing Emilio Brighton, who very much is getting to go inside the cage match and dispense a little uh, law and order of the tattoos on his arms. Um, looking excited to play with everyone here today. I will be uh, your lawman here for the ride, and if things get out of hand, well, uh, you know. We don't need to call cyber psychos. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of Jack very personally. Sparks, excuse me. Happy to be here, though. Thank you. Yeah, the, the character, not the player. Uh, <laughs> next, we have Nick. Uh, you can go ahead and put yourself back in frame, uh, Nick. Perfect. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh... I'm Nick. I'm playing Ezra Rockwell, our um, edge running net runner, who is now also just started to write his first few articles about um, Yellow. So, yeah, excited to see. Uh, oh, he's excited to lay down some money on some of these fights today and uh, bet on his tunes. And finally, Sean. Sorry, I'm late, everybody. I'm Sean. It's okay. I'm I'm here to uh, to uh, watch some fights and hopefully make some money tonight as as the lovable nomad Bedlam, who is also very high on LSD right now with. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Jack. Oh, okay. All right, Jack. All right. So I got the sirenscape up, and we are going to go ahead and get started with you guys. So, um, uh, Ezra and Emilio, uh, you guys have been, uh, watching the fights. How much have you guys made so, so far betting on those fights, by the way? Um, I did, I did a gambling check. I think I made 500 eddies, uh, at the end of the last session. Might have to go back and, uh, check the tape on that, but, um, it was. Uh, I know I did a gambling check and did win some eddies. All right. I have notes. It was 4K total. Oh. Up to 4K total is what nice. is what Diamond said. Basically, uh, you, you guys made a made a thousand on top of the thousand you put uh, put in. So. That's right. Yeah. We, okay. So uh, yeah, no, I see here. I I do actually have just up a thousand from from the 2600. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I got quite a few eddies in my pocket though, 
And if we're going to be seeing some further fights, I'm, I'm willing to lay those down. All right, so you guys are going to bet on one more fight before everyone else gets there? Um, no, I'm not. Not at the moment. No, I, 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 I was good. I thought, I thought Brighton was uh, pretty, pretty imminently getting into the ring, so I was going to bet on that. Yeah. Bet well, on the other. yeah, we're, uh, we, we've currently got um, Bedlam, who is behind the wheel, high as a kite right now. Uh, where, where are you guys uh, taking Sparks? By the way, are you taking it? Are you taking Sparks home to get some uh, rest or? Well, I was thinking. I would be, you know, I'd be on the way there, and then I kind of like drive past his place, and it's like, you know, it's like, where, where are you going? You, know, you're, you know, I, I drive past the place. I don't stop. I've got my hand out the window, and I'm just kind of waving it. I'm just enjoying myself right now, you know. Can I get a drive land vehicle check? Um, I'm going to impose one of my minus twos right out the gate, um, as you are high as fuck. <laughs> Behind the wheel. I am. <laughs> so a minus two on a drive. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. I've got like one hand off the wheel and everything, you know. Where is my control skills? Drive landing. I mean, if, if you've got the nice. interface pods, you can have both hands off the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> so... Even though Bedlam is high as a kite behind the wheel, driving while impaired, he drives by he drives by the cops, and they don't even seem to even have any interest in doing a traffic stop on him. So, look at that. <laughs> I'm like driving. I even I even like as I'm driving at one point, like after we pass the cops, I like even like close my eyes. And I get out, and I like kind of stretch out my arms, and I just hang out the window and drive with my knees. <laughs> Feeling the wind blowing through my I start hair. Yeah. Just, just yeah. Yeah, so, this is it. Sparks, Bedlam, though. Compared to what Trinity and Gamer Girl see, where they see the, the harsh, bright, many different advertisements and lights flashing through the windows... You guys are seeing kind of... It's a bit of a blur of colors coming together. Um, occasionally you see elves. <laughs> and sometimes you see dragons. This is some good shit. I, start, I feel inspired and I start making... Uh, uh, dictating notes in my agent about... Uh, uh, AR... What is it? The virtual office? Uh, there's a cyberware that that kind of puts an AR display up. Oh yeah, like the augmented reality. Oh, yeah. Uh... yeah, like so the the Chiron. Yeah, the Chiron. Uh, well, that's no, what... there's, there's one that's, that's what... like a virtuosity thing or something like that. Oh, virtuality. Oh, virtuality. That, okay. That yeah. isn't that just for netrunners? Yeah. Uh, it just more shows yeah. you cyberspace. But let's be real, it'd be pretty cool right now, wouldn't it, Sparks? It would. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm inspired. Well, oh, though, yes, right. Ezra has yeah, seen Black Eyes firsthand, and this is something you do not want to see while you're high. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. J just casually spots a Kraken lurking around the corner and, like, pentacles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, gosh. So, as you guys are uh, on your way uh, into South Night City, um, you guys are... You know what? Let's see what happens. You know what? We're going to see if something happens. So, just to make sure, who's all in my car with me right now? There's Sparks... Oh. Trinity. Yep. Okay. Is Gamer Girl in on my car, or are you driving your yourself? What What is uh, a 100 on the encounter what, table at night? What are we actually doing? You guys are on your way to uh, the Slammer. I'd probably just be in Bedlam's car then. I thought you were taking um, Jack to the to a doctor. That's what I thought too. But I was are, are, are you yeah. taking him to uh, Old Japantown first? 
Uh, I'll, I can to, stop. I'm like that was gonna be a tomorrow problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fine. That's fine with me. I, 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 yeah, I would. I mean, I mean if you're if you're willing to leave it till tomorrow. <laughs> we lost camera for you, Diamond. Yeah. I think it, I think it's yeah. safe. All right, that should give you guys your I'm, camera I'm, feed. Yeah. I'm fine for two days, so you know, twelve hours is, uh, is maybe maybe not gonna make that. All right. Happen. Let's Who see, knows? what is a 100 on the uh, over... Uh, it's e either something really good or something really bad. So, um... Wait, there... isn't 100 a cyber psycho attack? You guys hear screaming. <laughs> you hear screaming, you see people running. Um, in the uh, direction that you guys are coming from, uh, Bedlam. Uh, Bedlam... <laughs> can, can... <laughs> Can you roll me a perception check? <laughs> you can very shit. much guess there. Oh what? shit, here we go again. Oh, so, Bedlam, you see what looks like this giant stuffed animal approaching the vehicle. Walking on its hind legs. It looks like a giant stuffed <laughs> bear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what, what do the not high people see? Uh, you guys... See this hulking mass of what looks like an Ursa form, but it's got a few, uh, but it's got mantis blades sticking out of its arms, and um, it appears it's also got a grenade launcher sticking out of one of its other arms. Oh, are all these guys running from? Cool. Why are all these guys running? That looks adorable. Bedlam, you're a high as shit. That does not look adorable. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! Uh, how, <laughs> how how fast is this thing? Like, is it keeping up with us? Um, is wait. Are, are are you? Well, are you Bedlam, engaged? how are you approaching the, the giant plush bear? He's, so is he like just in the middle of the street? Is just in the like... middle of the stream street, walking towards you guys. You see a couple things just kind of explode into rainbows here and there. It's the pyro. <laughs> the pyro. Yeah. It's the pyro vision. Dick Paul, thanks for uh, subscribing. Guys, do, do we want to engage or just get the, or just Delta the fuck out of here? Now, as much as I love a good fight, we're on our way to another good fight. So I, I hold up my my uh, boomstick. Uh, Shotgun uh, glove and go, rabbit season? <laughs> That's a bear, not a rabbit, Sparks. Sparks. However, <laughs> you on the other hand, you're seeing this big, awful bear wolf like from uh, from Elf Lines Online. And it's big, it's got giant spines sticking out of it. You're having a bad trip. <laughs> oh, so, <laughs> Ben, <Bedlam, laughs> something cute and fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> we all see what it is, and Sparks sees something even worse. It's you know, this is not a bad point. I I got a pretty good resist drugs. Torture. Um, <laughs> as you guys are driving towards it, it, it looks like um, you're gonna be about 50, uh, 25 meters away right now. So it's up to you guys minutes. what you're going to have uh, Bedlam do or Gamer Girl, you're gonna take over the wheel. I'm yeah. I'm I'm asking if you guys want to stop and talk to this bear. No, we need to get the fuck away from it, bad boy. Yeah, Sparks. Hang on, I'm I'm pulling up the uh, shit. What's the ranges? Uh, ranges should be in Friday night firefight. Uh, should be uh, if I remember correctly, it's like one. Six or no, 170 or something. What range you need? Why don't you just fire it to test it and then you can re roll it? That's fine, that'll work. All right, so because as we're driving along, yeah, once poke. I get into a decent range, it's this just a test. Okay, oh, once we get within uh, 12 yards, then I'm gonna fire. So okay. This was just the test one, just to get the range. So, as we're going, I'm gonna pull out. So it's on my lower right hand arm. Put, put my arm out of the out of the window. Pop up and fire off and firing off. 
uh, an AP slog. I'm like in the as he's doing this, I'm in the middle of saying that you know all these people are running from it. It just needs a big old hug. <laughs> oh so this, fuck! Yeah. Uh, can I take a shot at it, like when we're still about the 25 meters away? Um. Uh... So, uh, we'll, we'll start off with Sparks, and then Gamer Girl, you can also fire uh, on top of that. Trinity, you still have your hurricane, don't you? Uh, I do. Uh, I, I mean, if, if we're close enough that the shotgun's getting involved, then th that's bad uh, for me. Yeah. That's, that's sequence of operations. If she's going to fire, then she should fire first. If yeah. So, Gamer firing... Girl, go ahead and fire first, then. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. <laughs> ah, that, what that, you that's guys? Why I, that's why I asked if I could fire while we were still far away. <laughs> you guys don't want a hug from Mister Snuggles. <laughs> no. Kill, kill with fire. Maybe it's all he needs, guys. All right. Uh, get, uh that eighteen uh, gonna be a miss. Yeah, that's gonna be a miss. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right. Uh, I wait to Sparks, so you're up. A... You're up next. Yep. So I'll wait until we get into the 12, uh, 12 meter range. All right. And then I'm going to fire off my slug. And Trinity, I assume you're also firing too? Yep. I was yeah. fine driving past, but if everyone's going to fire, might as well. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's going to reduce. All right. You and your crit. <laughs> what? Holy oh. fuck! That's a lot of yeah, damage. Holy shit. That's a lot of damage indeed. One sec. I gotta. Okay. And well, mine's uh... AP, so. So. so like two, not one. Yeah, one sec. That That's a critical as well. Yeah, so roll your, roll yeah. Your one sec, one sec, one sec. Let me yeah, make my way around the. Uh, ta uh, around here. That's two sixes. Minus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so close. So that would be, uh... Oh, boy. Um... So, wait, I gotta also subtract the five there. Well, alrighty then. Uh, I, I thought I, I was so excited I was gonna get to use Mr. Snuggles. Alright, go ahead and uh, roll me your, uh... Roll me your, uh... Yeah, got an eight. Yeah, I think it's easy. All right, so eight. Ooh, and go ahead and roll me your next attack. A, a broken leg on top of that. Oh boy. Jeez. Oh. Got another crit. Yeah. Uh, what the? Welcome, lamb. Oh. He's like all hyped and ready to go for this fight, and just like, okay, get another one beforehand. Let's do it. And that one's a four. So on. Trinity, you, 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 the second one goes straight through the chest, and it drops. For fuck's sake! <laughs> the biotech swell up in bedroom size. The biotech and nitro bear's been killed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Salvage. I want it. Uh, I am slowly pulling up to mourn this teddy bear. We just watch. You, you see, the there show. is just stuffing is all it, over the ground. What's up? Is it down? Or, is he down already? Yeah, it's a <laughs> negative ten. Oh my god! Negative ten. <laughs> Holy! With the hurricane Rana. He's <laughs> like, I. I'm in a hurry for this fight, so let's how to get this done fast. Yeah, oh, uh, that's there, there, actually... there is nothing left to salvage after that. What what happened there? Um, Fair enough. <laughs> though uh, you guys hear what sounds like hissing coming from the body, um, and it smells like gas. Delta. Better yet, nitro. Okay. It did. It, it might explode. We should get the fuck out. So, <laughs> it's GTFO. Uh, so off to the slammer then. 
So I guess yeah, yeah, I won't uh, I won't stop and give the body a hug. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll the, what away. what body? Yeah, yeah, right. So as you guys you high five. arrive to the slammer, you see piranhas um, out like drinking, uh, laugh, and they start laughing at your vehicle because you still have that giant penis painted yeah, on your dick, <laughs> big old dick on it. <laughs> I uh, I laugh with them. Yeah. Though, I enjoy their vibe. As soon as Trinity gets out, though, they're just kind of like they they like it, they they just kind of back down. Oh, before we leave the car, like once we get there, I'm gonna like go to ask go to Sparks, and be like, "Hey, before this fight, you don't happen to have like a speed healer or anything on you? I just got a couple hits from uh, earlier. You know, it's fine if you don't." I, I I don't make the speed heals. I I just throw you in a, a cryo when you when you down. Okay, you no problem. Punch the the suitcase in the back. It's all good. It's all good. Just thought I'd double check. Is, is everybody's I'm, I'm getting out? Wait, you, you're a med tech that doesn't do speed heal. Yep. Is everybody's getting out? I'm I'm telling Sparks to stay in the car. I look out. How bad am I tripping at this point to where I, I, uh, I look out and I see a bunch of horrifying? Or... The world's looking pretty fucking good outside. Like, you, you, you're seeing, like, a really nice orange sunset is what it looks like going on in the sky. Um, it looks like your, your trip isn't getting too bad right now. Uh, people are kind of walking around a little goofy. I, I, oh, yeah, 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 and I kind of blow them off. <laughs> you guys are going in. Bedlam is going to drive to the planetarium. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nick just kind of looks over at, uh, at uh, Trinity and Gamer Girl. Those two are going to get us killed. Yeah. They'll be fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, I think they're going to get themselves in. killed. I'm really going to enjoy this. Mm. Yes, that's right. All right. Uh, I think with some of my winnings, I'll buy, uh, before everyone arrives, I'll buy drinks for the table. Um, All right. Anticipating their arrival. Um, however much, I don't know. How much does that cost? 100 eddies? 200 eddies? Uh, for, for this table, it's going to be 50 eddies. It, it's not... Yeah. It's yeah. not expensive booze by any means. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Brighton. Yeah, there you go. What, what, when yeah, they, sure. when we smash the table. Of smash. No, yeah, we'll go in for pictures of Smash 2. Like, that's what I'm drinking. If anyone wants to drink something else, yeah. you can get it. But uh, I, I'm definitely doing the Smash 2, so I'll take those uh, bonuses and the uh, and the risk after. See the guy come out with some glasses that are questionably clean. and um, I don't need the glass, just a picture. Oh, uh, jeez, yeah. man. Yeah, when, when, when Nick says that about the Sparks and Pedlam, by the way, uh, Gamer Girl will just say, don't worry, I'll keep you safe, and place a hand on her shoulder. How you Ooh. doing? Uh, Ooh. okay. Can't shoot for shit in close range, though. I hate to throw well, that one on you. That's why I've got this, and she uh, shows off her shotgun. All right. So with that, as you guys come in here, it is a uh, very uh, loud uh, place that you're coming into. Um, what are... Um, and sure enough, you see uh, Ezra and Amelia with a table full of Smash. Pictures of Smash. <laughs> well... Individual pictures of Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Starting a little early, aren't you? Goodness. I mean, I might die today. I might die tonight. <laughs> I slam it. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to have drunk and high. Recover <laughs> game. I mean, I don't give a fuck mode, so I slam it. Ah. <laughs> I bring everyone up to speed. I'm like, uh, you know, Brighton's about to get in the ring. We just made a bunch of cash. We're, we're feeling Thanks. flush. And, uh, 
we're looking to better Eddie's, and uh, Brighton's looking to kick some ass. Yeah. Nice. I'm I'm pumped to kick some ass too. See a bigger guy come out. He's a little a little roughed up. All right, folks. Uh, welcome to the Slammer tonight. I am feeling a little frisky, so I'm thinking we are gonna do an all or all or nothing uh, fight tonight. For you guys, what as much money as you want on the upcoming fights involving a uh, cue ball flat pack here, seeing how they've been cleaning everyone out of house. So, we gotta have a little bit of money ourselves to pay you guys. Do we have anybody that's willing to fight these two first for all or nothing night? Anyone? Anyone? I immediately raise hand. Look over at Trinity, like, come on, come on. Um, yeah. Raise my hand up. Uh, with my other hand, I'm putting Sparks' hand down. Like, no, uh, no, not you. Two boards, two boards back there. Yeah, you, you guys. Uh, you, you see one of the piranhas go over and whisper uh, in the guy's ear. Uh, Trinity, yeah, you and your, uh, in your tomb there. Yeah, go, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, as you guys come up to uh, the, come up to this ring, um, what is everybody wanting to put down as bets uh, for this fight? Because it is a fight till either they agree uh, on an incapacitation or uh, killing. Hundred bucks. That's basically all I got left. Uh, I'm gonna put 500 each on uh, Emilio and and Trinity. Are our matches separate or together? Uh, together. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna put 2,000 down on us. Oh well, if 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 they're fighting together, then yeah, 1k on the pair. The gamer girl is putting uh 1,000 down. Yeah, and it, it and uh, most likely it's going to be do or die in the situation. So, Emilio, how much are you putting down? Two thousand. Two thousand. Ooh. Ah, oh, we're we're. Ah, uh, we if are. It's do or die. I have no use for my money after this. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> actually, two thousand two hundred and thirty eddies to be. Two thousand two hundred and thirty. You're betting it all. If I well, die he, after he, this, I, don't, yeah, he, I have no use for it. So He either uh, wins or he dies, yeah. Trinity, <laughs> are you betting anything? I mean, he makes a good logic. I either win or I die, and if I die, I don't need my money. Yeah. So, I'll go in a thousand, I guess. Thousand? Alright. I have Is one cryo pack. pack. Bet. Save one of you. <laughs> the idea is we're gonna go big Ezra, what are go you? Home. what are you putting it in? If there's no upper limit, thirty-six forty-five. Thirty-six forty-five. Jesus. Oh boy, Man. you're 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 betting big. Let's uh let let's hope this this uh this this goes well for you. And I finally bedlam. To, uh, uh, what, what's up? Can I um can I um search for a uh, access point? <laughs> Why? Is, is Ezra going to cheat? <laughs> no, Ezra's not going to cheat unless things don't go his way. Um, <laughs> well, isn't that why you would cheat? <laughs> no, I mean, if, if the fight's going great, I mean, if the fight doesn't go great, lights might go out and see what happens. Uh, do either of you guys have low light vision? So. No. Ah, we'll see what's in there. We'll see what's in there. I, ha I do. I have my smart glasses. I have the low light. You're not the one that's playing right. so bad. <laughs> oh, that's true. Bad luck. Also, how, I, how much are you putting in on this fight? So not only am I super broke right now because I spent the last of my money on this LSD. <laughs> <laughs> but I might be headed to the planetarium. Uh, the, the planetarium? Oh. Yeah, he's he's just like, you know what? Bedlam wants to go watch Shot the stars. The I don't, you know what? Yeah, I'm just like, I'm gone. If you've never been to Planetarium, just saying. 
Taking yeah. take your lady out to the planetarium, possibly then. No, I'm not even. I'm not even calling anyone. I oh. was gonna bring Sparks, but he got out of the car. Oh god. <laughs> All right. Well, you're you're off tonight to the university for the planetarium then. I'm just gonna walk in the employee entrance like I belong. <laughs> you see a guy just kind of look up at you and just. I, I mean, I know I know some of you professors wear very strange clothing, but my gosh, you look like shit. I just shoot him finger guns and smile. Uh, Diamond, can I have someone drop off my Zack at this place, just in case Bedlam forgets to come back for us? Um, <laughs> it, it does take a day to sw swap out vehicles, but uh, if you want it urgent, you will owe the pack a favor. I'll be there, guys. Where? Where's the park? I got you. So, all the way at the Aldecaldo camp. Yeah. You guys are in South oh, Night oh, City. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I say, I don't know, now I'm screwing you guys by doing this. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, oh, we can take oh, a bus oh, home we'll if back. we need it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take, I'll take Owen them a favor if they, if they swap out for me then. You know, trying to enjoy this. You know, ride it out. Make all sure right. everything goes all right. I mean, well. The, the, they're my new family, so I, I, I'd probably do it for them anyway if they ask. So, yeah. Alright, so you're gonna owe them a favor? Alright. Uh, Bedlam, by the way, uh, you're probably going to be going on a very spiritual journey uh, here. <laughs> Alright. So, right I, I'd say since you're doing something for your own self-care and whatnot in this situation... Regain three yeah, humanity. It's, it's a mindfulness thing. Re oh, regain thanks. three humanity. It's a very rare thing, but I allow very, very specific things to uh, regain some humanity over time. Noise. Thank you. So maybe if Spark saves someone's life tonight or something like that, he might. Uh... Hey, it's kind of expected like of a med deck. <laughs> so, in that case, then. Uh, Emilio and Trinity, you're getting brought into the uh, cage, uh, and you Can just I go see down as their medic. Uh, they are uh, they they're only allowing uh, fighters into the cage. No, not into the cage. Like sitting in their corner. Yeah, oh corner. yeah, yeah yeah. You you can do that. Right. Nix, how much money do you even have, Nix? That's a better question. Eight, 860, probably just gonna put 400 in. You better not fuck this one up! Alright? <laughs> just kind of yells. I'm putting money on you. Actually, we're gonna just up that to 500. Alright. So, as you guys uh, get brought into the cage uh, for combat. Uh, which is going to be this uh, center center place right here. Um, I will uh, also need to quick generate a net because I didn't realize we were going to be net running today in the slammer. But yeah, that's <laughs> totally fine. I have a nice handy dandy tool for this. We'll have to share that with you sometime. I've been looking for something that I'd quickly build. Uh, the companion app. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Panny Maps killer. It's like a, the thing is way bad. Awesome. It's worth like, a, isn't there a paid version like five bucks or something like that? So I'll roll my um. Oh crap! What's it called? Where you search for access points? Scanner. Scanner. Yeah. However, first things first. I would like some initiative. Uh, once I clear the turn order, because I gotta do that. So, uh, go ahead and uh, bring your stuff onto the field then, um, for those that are doing shit during this fight. Entering the octagon. The hexagon. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm in the corner. Trin is rolling hot. Woo! Look damn. at that. God that, damn. That's, that's uh. Two of you rolling 10s. All for three of you rolling 10s oh for initiative. 
Uh, so that's a 22 for Emilio and a 33 for Trinity. Do you want me in this list? Um... Uh, actually, Sparks, what? that would not be what? a bad idea. Uh, Trinity, uh, what, what is it for? What, what is your initiative in total? Uh, 33. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. 17 uh, plus 7. 16. 16. Holy. Uh, that. Uh, no, Ezra rolled 24 on the interface, not on initiative diamond. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, both Sparks and I are at 13. My my reflex is 6. That's why I'm stipulating that in the chat. So I'm technically before him. But... Alright. 13.5. Flat pack. Alright, let me grab my notes for these two schmucks. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gamer Girl is uh, just chatting up next. <laughs> Would you like something to drink, by the way? Kind of, look, nice. kind of looks at, at, at her third, third can of spatula of the night. I mean, if you're buying, I'll take yeah. it. All yeah, right. What you want? Let's see, so we got Krenzikov here. It, sorry, I'm I'm just trying to get yeah, initiatives no out the gate here. So for flat pack, uh, they are going to be running with this. Seven, oh, goodness. And what are you guys agreeing to? Fight to the death or uh, fight till you get incapacitation? I think, considering I mean, they just put in all the eddies, <laughs> probably fight uh, to the death. Fight to the death. <laughs> fight to the death, then. All right. All right, Trinity, are you okay with that? I'm, not I'm fine to with that. that. All right. Sure, my, my nurse ratchet is, is on tight. You got it. Oh. 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 <laughs> Very cool. All right, even with a Karenzikov, I, I still don't outpace uh, these two. All right, so let's, uh, yeah. And also, uh, of course, um, you know, reputations are on the line too. All right, so on that note, we are going to go ahead and uh, get started then. Uh, we'll be uh, making our way around uh, the table uh, here slowly, but surely. Well, ho hopefully a little bit fa faster today because I think we're pretty well paced, uh, putting our paces on this one. So, Trinity, you're up for starts. Hey. You know, I was thinking, you know, we should make a plan, but also I'm just like, Trinity is just going to run up and deck one of them. Um, let's go with... Okay. Let's first pick Q-Ball. I'll go for him first. Alright, so up here. Uh, one in purple up here. That'll be uh, okay. Q-Ball. I can't see the square, so I'm hoping to move the right amount of squares. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll do a brawling. Eighteen. All right. All right. Their combat number is going to be there. All right. So for Q ball evasion is going to be plus two, twelve. All right. That's going to be a successful hit. Uh, you're using brawling. All right. Yeah, just starting it off with just a quick deck to the face. Just set the set the tone, you know. Uh, well, it would be more to the body, cause face, the headshot. But, you know. Yeah. That's fair. You know. You know, just yeah. What's that? Forty-six, right? Yep. All right. 
So 55 minus. Yeah, I mean, you, you hit and it, it, you you can feel the subdermal armor in this in this person's uh, skin. Okay. Hello, Stormbreaker. Thank you for subscribing. Five months now. Thank you. All right, second punch. Okay. I forget. Does brawling reduce armor, or it, does it? It does. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it it won't ignore half armor though. And uh, the second uh, swing, uh, they're able to move out the way. Emilio. Alrighty. I'm going to move over to this one. Speaking of which, I can't pull up and martial arts. I've just spent a little bit of law and order. All right. It's, you are the law. Oh, nice. Woo! All oh, right. We're, yes. we're starting out hot. Okay. Oh, all right. That's uh, going to be a uh, hit. All right. So that's going to be. All right. Followed up with the other one. Oh, that's terrible. Ooh. Terrible. <laughs> well, y'all need to work the left one. Oof. Yeah. You left, yeah. And then a ten you left hook weak. It is. It is. All sloppy. <laughs> dap, dap, it's all part of my I mean, make it take Diamond could still roll time. a one on the evade, so yeah. it could still hit. Yeah. Uh, that is always a thing. Of course, uh, they move out the uh, they move out the way of the second hit, and uh, it is their turn. They are going to follow up with. Let's see. We're going to uh, go ahead and run. Let's see. Let's see, I've dodged all melee attacks that were targeted at me last turn. So once per turn, when you fulfill this require, or, no, wait, that, that's got to be next round, correct? Uh, they they didn't dodge all the attacks at them though. Oh, okay. Neither. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, they, they both took at least one hit. <laughs> All right, so they're going to start off with, uh, let's see, the, what do they roll for martial arts? Let me check. All right, they Dexterity. roll. Dexterity? All right, so they roll at plus 12, it looks like. All right. So, Amelia, I'm going to need that uh, evasion just to set me a DV. All right, 25. All right, so that first swing and a miss. And uh, second swing at you. Uh, so oh, the battle of the night and the battle of the ones. So yeah. let's see. That's seven versus. Uh, let's see. Oh. Eight. So the. So eight I hit. Yep. Just. <laughs> All right. So that is going to be eight, ignoring half of your armor, Emilio. As uh, the second hit comes through, doesn't seem to quite uh, hit as hard as uh, his, his buddy does. Which, speaking of which, um, Trinity, ignoring half is rounding up. Yep. On armor as well. So if you have eleven, it rounds up to five for half. Trinity, yes. uh, I'm going to need a. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yep. Yeah. All right. What is Taekwondo's? Um, Specifics. Body. Alright, so will of eight. Would eleven. Alright. Up to six or up to five? Sorry, up to six, yeah. Yeah. My bad. yeah sorry, yeah. I, I misspoke. Alright, so this is gonna be uh, first uh, kick at you, Trinity. Okay. We are going to go ahead and swing and a miss. All right. Nice. Thanks, roll 20. 
All right, se <laughs> and second swing at you. Ah. This one's going to hit. Roll 4d6. And, all right, and by the way, seeing how it's fight to the death, uh, critical injuries are allowed on the table. Uh, that's going to be 15, and it ignores half your armor, and just round your, if it's if it's odd number, round up. Okay. Well, it, 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 if you need to round up, round up. All right. So, uh, se second hit, it hits just as hard against you. Ezra, you, uh, do find a, uh, point to jack in. Um, it appears to be a thermostat behind the bar. Ooh, and I would probably have to leave our table to get within six meters of it? Yes. Uh, I will begrudgingly go sit at the bar, leaving Gamer Girl and Next up to whatever they're up to. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 um, I'll order another drink at the bar and try to discreetly jack in. All right. With my cyber deck. Kind of in my chair, let's say. In my cyber chair. So. Um, you... All right. So. Uh, Pete, the, it's so busy in here. I, I, I guess roll stealth. Uh, one point of luck added to this roll. Okay. Oh, you're you're able to jack in, and nobody really seems to take note that you're there. All right. Just to be clear, I'm jacking in with my Pathfinder, uh, or my um, what is it called? Microtech Scout um, uh, deck, which does an automatic Pathfinder upon entry. Okay. Uh, can we go ahead and get Pathfinder then? All right, so uh, we have a password, a file, a control node, a password, a killer, and a skunk, and another control node. Do I know what the control nodes do? Or will I have to get to them to know? You'll, you'll have to get to them to know. So, all right. Well, you are free to run your net actions as needed. Okay, so what am I looking at on the first floor? Sorry. Uh, you got a password. All right. Uh, this does not have my worm in it, so I'm just going to be rolling to backdoor it directly. Uh, it's... you. It, it, literally, after a couple tries, you're, you're, you're able to get uh, through. It, it was a very, very basic... Um, Somebody decided to use their uh, last name plus their date of birth as a password. All right, so I jump down to the next floor. Uh, there's a file. Uh, I roll to um, ID like scan it or whatever. ID it, yeah. ID yep. I have two more now. All right. After this, I'm up to four. So, with that 15 uh, in here, you find what appears to be uh, fight records for uh, people. Okay. Back and, that up. Uh, I can analyze that later, and maybe we yeah. can use that for uh, getting betting bonuses in the future. Oh, definitely. Um, okay. So, I'll back that up, and I'll jump down to the next floor. Uh, control node. Uh, can I just take control of it? Yeah. Uh, uh you'll, you'll just need to roll control for it. Yeah. Uh, you have the thermostat. stat. <laughs> jack the heat way up. Oh, you're gonna make it hot in here? Um. What do you guys think? Yeah. No, no, I'll just leave the thermostat the same for now. Um, yeah, I don't see how turning up the heat will really benefit us. Um, next, next floor, I have one more action. All right, uh, you have a killer and a skunk. 
Oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to jump down to the next floor. I will, um... I'll use this action to res my armor. And that will be it. Alright. So next up, uh, Sparks, uh... From your end, um, can you roll me a cyber, a cyber t tech uh, check? Thank you. You and I are both thinking the same thing. You you want to know what the, what these people have? I want to see what they got. More uh, more accurately, I want to I want to look at what kind of weaknesses I can figure out from these guys. Wait, some kind of nerd? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, you you see what seems to be a what looks like a recently put in uh, trauma response data matrix in cue ball. And flat pack appears to ha recently have gotten a body weight auto injector put in him. It's just from like the scars uh, on them. Hmm. And well, I wish you guys had internal agents. <laughs> yeah. I uh. Nano machine, son. Yep. <laughs> Let's start with. So I yelled to to Trinity. To aim for where where I see the scarring at, because that would still be a, a spot that's healing. Yep. That would be an aim Go shot ahead. to try to break internal cyberware. Would I have enough action action to be able to get a lot of the same uh, about the injector for? Uh... Yes. Yeah. I mean, yelling is a free action. So I shout all in. Ah, what's this? Your doc? Uh, you just see a uh, cue ball just uh, say uh, also spitting on you a little bit, Trinity. They are slobbering. Um, Ew. Hey, these are good as ass. All right. Trinity, you're up. Okay. You know, I'll take I'll take another swing. At, I, I was going to say, I realized something. Oh. I forgot to add my spot weakness weakness to the last hit I landed on. Oh, okay. Uh, how much? I forgot. It's a plus damage? six. So, uh, what did he? I rolled sixteen damage, so that puts it at twenty-two damage. All right. Thanks for letting me know. There we go. And I, I'll, I'll get that punched in here. All right. You are good to go. Okay, so I'll take another swing at him. And it looks like you're also delivering a critical injury if this lands. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm back in that one. <laughs> Alright, this one... Uh, able to get out of the way of this swing. All right, and your uh, second swing, uh, Trinity. Boo. And not they, rolling great. You swing, they they rock back, and they're they're gonna get ready to swing at you, Emilio. You are up. You have the possibility of delivering it, a critical injury. Yeah, I guess oh, it's Emilio to, go. to get um, the crit then. So, how's the bank of plus twos going? Uh, you have your balance is currently. 12 oh, plus twos. Does that okay. include the two I put in there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to use a plus two at the moment, uh, and I'm going to use three luck, giving me a plus five to my attack, and I'm doing a called shot to this person's head. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let me set your DV then that you got to clear. Thank you. All right. Oh. Uh, Let's see, flat pack's got decent evasion. All right, 18, and you have to, so you, so you got to roll and also uh, Actually, beat the minus I'm eight. Use two plus twos, that way I'm All right. be rolling only at a minus one. All right. Mm. Nice. Mm, so tasty. <laughs> so, 20, so 23 minus eight. Uh, it might have won because I have, oh. uh, I have plus seven yeah. at the moment. Oh, oh. In, the, in the bonuses. Yeah, I'm a dirty person, I know. 
No, no, no. That 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 is a very fair use of what uh, of what you got. It's gonna pay out. Fair is fair. And, and the critical. So adding the critical too. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I need to just do this real quick. Uh, oh gosh. So whatever it gets through gets doubled, and then there's the crit on top. Oh shit, that's right. So let's see, thirteen. And this is my first attack. <laughs> Six. This is not even my final form. All right. Um, and go ahead, roll me your uh, 2d6. Let's see what you do to this man. Oh. Um, Crack goal. Yeah, so anybody who's, like, nearby, you hear that audible pop as soon as um, Emilio's uh, fist makes contact with Flatpak's head. It is, like, it is very loud even getting through the skin weave. Hits to the head or now a times three instead of a times two? Whoa. Oh, dear. Yeah, I think they. Mm, yeah, they're you're, they're you're gonna rock that first first so. <laughs> How do they look after that first hit? Ah, uh, they, they they ain't looking too good. Uh, you you still got one more swing, don't you? Yeah, yes, cause, I cause do. Because that, that was times two damage because you were going for the head as well. Oof. Yep. Oh wait, that's rate of fire one then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Aim, aim yeah. Shot, yeah. Rate of fire one. Thank you. Thank and, you. And if you hit the head again, it's times three now. Yes. All right. So, I'm going to roll an attack against you, and I impose minus twos on each evasion. <laughs> so, go ahead and roll me uh, your, your first evasion. So, six GM has, has no more fun. <laughs> and uh, with the minus two, that hit. Mm hmm. So that's going to be five, ignoring half armor. Mm. Uh, I think okay, you're still at five armor, so no damage. And second swing. So that's a 20. It's 20. All right. Um, and uh, including the, the minus two penalty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 20 yep. was it's including the minus, the minus two. two. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, flat pack is not looking good at all. Um, Trinity, roll me evasion. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use one of those plus twos yes, to, uh, to this. So, let's see. Alright. So 19 with the plus two. All right, use your action to use martial arts move resolution against a single target in melee range. If you hit your target, uh, you hit your... All right. So in that case, then, I will go ahead and roll to hit. And we're about to see what happens here. Trinity! You watch as, as uh, they... they they get around you and you feel something in your spine not feel good mm, you I are, don't like that uh, you are getting um, pressure point strike you are getting the uh, spinal uh, critical injury uh, you are getting uh, spinal injury so you will be receiving so, spinal critical injury. Next turn, you cannot take an action, but you can take a move action, and your death save is increased by one. Oh my gosh, Ock Raven. Holy moly. Uh, thanks, Mulpus. <laughs> All right. So, Trinity, you have um, a bad back now. Boo. I already have a bad back. No, I'm kidding. That's just me as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Mood. Hello? Sorry. Oh! <laughs> no! Tequila! Come back! <laughs> Buddy! Hi! 
<laughs> he, he, he's gone. And there was just like a passing sound that you may have heard Tequila's voice trying to push you forward. <laughs> Yelling encouragement <laughs> through the... Uh... Hey, um, Sean, Bedlam, we can't hear you if you're talking. For whatever reason. Oh, Bedlam's following it. He's following the voice of Tequila. <laughs> he hears hey. him out there. Oh, so that's going to be part of Bedlam's uh, trip. Um... <laughs> So we start off with uh, Ezra. Uh, what, what's up then? Uh, you know, I think this fight is pretty in hand. I don't know if I really need to. I, I think I'm going to uh, turn up the heat and uh, get the fuck out of this this net arc. I, I think uh, I think our fight okay. had this in. Hand. Um. What what else is in here? There's a there's another control node, and I don't know what it's for. Uh, there's another control node uh, past this floor. If you're gonna try to slide. Yeah, you know what? Let's do the slide. We might we we the arc here. Let's do the slide. I I will try to slide. All right. Past. Let me see. Let's see what they roll. That's a five, right, and that's a seven. All right, you're you're passed. You did it. All right. So what's on the final control node? Um, it is stage lights. Oh, that's what you were looking for. I was hoping for maybe music, but uh, is there anything I can do with the stage? Can I, like, flash the stage lights? Yes. Can I control spotlights? Can I flash them directly at the opponents and not at my tombs? Um, you, you'd only be able to make the whole stage, like, really fucking bright and hit everybody with basically the visual part of a flashbang. So, I mean, if they right. if Emilio and Trinity pass for just drugs and torture, they'll be okay. Uh, you know what? They have this in hand. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide my way back out, turn up the heat on my way out, and, uh, bring some more drinks back to Nyx. Oh, you can only slide once a turn from Black Ice? Uh, the, the, I thought it was just if they were on the same yeah, floor, you were able ow. to slide. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, then, I guess... Uh, I guess you'll be doing combat with a... I guess you'll do combat I'll with... I'll oh. back out. I didn't need to turn up the temperature. Oh, okay. All right. So, I assume... Uh, so, I assume from there... Uh, Sparks, what's up? Uh, I'm I'm cheering them on. I'm trying to think of, I don't know, is there a medical thing I can do to to help? I'm I'm trying to figure out ways to to help inspire and maybe throw. Uh, you, you know, I, you know, I try to hit them with uh, a little bit of black lace or something to help power them through. Bedlam had the had the black lace. I don't have anything. Oh shit! No. I mean, I in theory have some. But that's on the on my person, I assume. So there wouldn't be any way for me to sneak around and uh, pop one of these guys as they get next to the cage with a, a dose of of, uh, of the uh, knockout juice, huh? I've got one dose left. You'll need to roll stealth. Yep. Okay. I'm going to impose a minus two against you, as you are high oh. as a kite. I was, yeah, I was going to just take one straight up anyway. <laughs> now, is this like blood sports style with like a big old group of people around them and just like a, a, a pit of sorts where like everybody yep. is like can physically touch the fighters or is there like uh, a ring? Not switch, uh, there, there, there's a cage uh, keeping uh, people okay. out. So it's going to be a bit of a gonna be a little bit to try to finagle it uh who are, who are you trying to uh, trying to get with the uh uh with the uh sedatives this guy cue ball yep all right uh roll me a brawling check oh did you want me stealth first yes or do we get okay let's do the stealth first and see if anybody notices ah nice you're able to Meander your way through the crowd, then for the most part, um, and then uh, go ahead and roll me brawling to see if you can even get it 
uh, to happen. Okay. This will be funny. Uh, I'm going to dump my two luck into this and do a plus two. Good. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> So as you try to get in there, you fumble and uh, you watch as it falls through uh, one of the cracks in in below the in below the cage. I have three uh, three other hands. Can I at least make a, a try to grab it before it slips <laughs> out? That way I don't lose the dose. Uh, roll me uh, athletics. Okay. Oh shit! 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 <laughs> I like your shirt. I like your shirt. All right. Uh, you are. Uh, you, you kind of fumble around a little bit. You manage to grab it without getting yourself with the sedative. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, brawl it is two. Do I hit it again? Mm, I, I I'd say after that, probably not. It's fine. I'll wait there and, and I'll I'll be shouting words of encouragement. All right, there. Trinity, you cannot take an action, but you have a move action if you need to give yourself some space to work with. Yeah, I think I think I'll try and like, you know, do like a little bit of a backup. Like I'm like, I don't want to make it look like I'm like backing away scared from the guy. I don't want to do that. I want to like a cool backup. Does that make sense? Okay. Or does that sound silly? No, I, I know what it's you like... mean. Okay, so it's back up. Like, I cannot see these squares very well. Using like uh, a... arrow buttons, you can actually move yourself each square that way if you have your token selected. That's fair. I'm not good at the arrows. I'll try and, like, lure him, like, this way towards, like... So, like, we're all fighting kind of the same air. So he can, like be like close to all of us all right Emilio you are up we're fighting flat pack right yep how's flat pack looking that doesn't matter and flat, flat pack is the one with the cracked skull, isn't he? He's got a cracked mm -hmm. skull, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, not great. <laughs> mm. I want to use two of the plus twos, so I'm only doing a cold shot and a minus four, and I'm going to the head again. All right. <laughs> Woo! So that's an 18 with the minus four. Uh, aim shots are minus eight. Right, yeah, but well, I mean, he, he, he added that. Oh, okay. Alright, so... Ah! Oh. Still not enough. Ah, oh, just, just skirted by. Eh, that's okay. Alright. Not today, asshole. Stop resisting arrest! You're a fucking <laughs> cop, are ya? Stop resisting. <laughs> Somebody anonymously throw a bottle from the crowd. When you guys just whoop. Honestly, though, like, yeah, it kind of works. All right, but anyway, they are going to um, go ahead and uh, you, uh, Amelia, you hear something hit their system like like you hear something click fire inside mm. them and you just see their veins start popping out and just uh you just get like the angriest loud like roid rage that you, <laughs> that you may have heard in a while mm. is it on an automatic trigger or did they trigger it uh this is a uh this is an auto trigger to identify? Uh, yes. 
Sounds like some berserk to me. <laughs> yep, they are berserk. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're zerking out a little bit. All right. So, on that note, uh, they will be able to since that was an auto, since that's an automatic thing that fires. They can go ahead and roll their attacks against you. So, Emilio, uh, can I get evasion from you? Alright, that's going to be a swing and a miss there. Oh my god. Yeah, it, th th this is not it. Even with drugs, you still a little bitch. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> All right. However, um, I am going to send a flying kick your way, Emilio. On top I'm of all judge. this, he's a judge. Can can I? Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. Holy fucking moly, uh, Emilio! I, I am the law, dude. Thing. Emilio, you're gonna get yourself some nice rep tonight. Damn. What's the martial art where you get if you dodge a bunch of stuff, you get some cool stuff off? You need like keto, I think. I been I wanted to pick up a keto. I just I couldn't from a role play perspective. It's funny as I wait a minute. I do That's have right? Aikido. We gotta spend more time together, man. <laughs> I do. Damn it! All <laughs> right. Yeah. So they try to run up and try to go nice. for a flying kick. And their foot misses your uh, misses you in the process, but they do are able to stick the landing in the. Uh, however, we come around. Uh, Ezra, anything else that you're up to, or are you gonna be out of turn order? No, I think I'm pretty much out of turn order. I'll bring, um, I'll order an expensive cocktail for Nix at the bar and bring it back to the table though for her. Uh, and, uh, butt in on uh, uh, but Gamer Girl Horse conversation. Uh, I mean, I I also offered to buy her a drink and never got any response. Do you both? Well, she'll, well, she'll, 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 she'll be drink. taking, she'll be taking whatever <laughs> whatever's coming to her. Oh yeah, oh, Judo uh, does have counter. Oh, oh that's these guys' plan. Start chatting her up specifically about Vancouver and asking her if she's ever seen it, or if she ever wants to. Do, do, do they have do they have the screaming orgasm cocktail here? The 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 what? The screaming orgasm. <laughs> I, I, I I've never heard, heard of this, but you've never heard of the screaming orgasm. I do. No. <laughs> is this a 2077 thing or? No, th th this is a real life cocktail. Yeah, I've heard about it. I mean, I she... never haven't heard of it, but I'm like, that sounds like a cocktail. Yeah, I believe you, that. You guys are going to get this. Actually, I need to roll her resist <laughs> drugs and torture to see if she's even okay after how much liquor she is consuming. She's just kind of raking it in right now. Oh, I, I was like just around. asking her about Vancouver. She's very like... <laughs> oh, she's fine, though. She's alright, but she's just like, yeah. Sure. Just... Yeah. Uh, that, that That's a bloody screaming co orgasm. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Oh, bloody. oh yeah, it is. Yeah, you guys aren't doing it right. If you're, I don't know, if they're not I, bloody. I. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Sparks. <laughs> moving right along. Sparks, you're up. <laughs> okay. Um, the, the, um, the screaming orgasm is actually a really nice cocktail as well. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. I I, I bet it yeah. is. This guy's next to the thing. I like everything and... in there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, he is currently on Berserk at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, with the plus two. All right. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Uh, 
Oh, ah. Yeah, that's gonna be a miss. Yeah. Also. Yeah. You gonna try again? Can I? I mean, Rawlings plus two, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll just do this one straight. Yeah. No, it's just getting a little too crazy going on here. All I'm right. Put the mat away. I'm just like, eh, we'll we'll save this from some other time. Hey, you're Trinity. Also you're back, and you have your action again. Excellent. I'm going to, I guess, move towards flat pack. So it seems like, you know, if cue ball attacked, I'm like, okay, I'm a little switchy. That's fine. Cool. I don't know if that's the best call, but we'll see how it goes. All right. I'm debating if I'm trying to grab him. Okay. No, yeah, I'll go try and like see if I like grab onto him, and I'm gonna use a plus. This is brawling, right? Still, yep. I roll. Yep. That, yeah, I'll, it'll be brawling. I'll throw a plus two in this. I feel like we've gotten a couple, so. So that's a twenty-two then. Nice. Ah, 23. Uh, as you go, you Man. think you Versus. almost have a hold of them. Uh, they are able to slip their head out from under your arms and get out of uh, grasp. All right. Go again, go again. <laughs> and uh, gr grab is rate of fire one, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Kind of a, it's just because he's sweating too much. Special action. Um, a, Emilio. Uh, I'm going to send two on the target. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to attack twice. I do really right. want to capitalize on that critical injury. But Oh, okay. I mean, I'm just, you got plenty of plus twos in the bank if you want to go for it. Well, he's Zerkin now, so Zerk makes you ignore the effects of a critical. Right. Uh, you you still I think take the effects. Uh, it's just or... the actual minus is if imposed. You get to ignore the I think the damage. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I've never really thought about how Zerk would react with a, a cracked skull. I mean, if you guys are you know, if you guys don't mind, yeah, I I will deplete part of the bucket. See if we can just put Do this it. one down. Yeah, go for it. Go up to it. Okay. I will be I will be using four of the plus twos to uh, oh, negate the minus. That's a straight roll. <laughs> yep. We right. just got. Yeah, we just got. Time for just a roll of fate. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> we got so much money riding on this. It's all just yeah. dropping our plus twos. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, no. You you see him dip his head back as soon as uh, you do that. However, uh, they are taking they, they don't take penalties for being seriously wounded right now. And Emilio did drop how many plus twos? Four. Four. Yeah. Four. Twenty-seven. <laughs> nice. No, he was doing an aim shot, so it's oh. I added to the pool earlier. Yeah. I think it's what they were asking. And I will move to the other side of the ring. I don't like the idea of them being us being confined in a corner. Let's see if I can split. Oh, guys! We've been making these for a while. <laughs> I, I know. I, I I share the wealth with other teams. Also. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Flat packs turn. Uh, the, seeing how you're 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 wanting to go to the floor, uh, they're going to try taking you to the floor with them, uh, Trinity. So uh, okay. go ahead and roll me uh, uh, your evasion. I'm going to add three of my luck to this and a plus two because I'm not going to the floor. So that's plus two, then three luck, five to this. I cancel your minus two. With, uh, or I cancel your plus two with one of my minus two, so... Okay, so then just a plus three to this. Hold 18. on. One, two, three, Jesus four, Christ five. Guy! <laughs> 17 plus five! What are you doing here? 22. 23. 22. 
22. All right. Trinity, you ah. they got a hold of you and you guys are going to the floor. You are and like this this little guy, like flat pack is not big. It's able to get you onto the floor. And the Impressive. crowd is going nuts over it. Like th th this is the people that come and spend their money on this stuff. So they are going to they are trying to get a hold of you at this point. So you two are on the floor. Uh, Cue ball is going to direct their attention towards you, on the other hand, and uh, going to go ahead and roll martial arts against you, Emilio. All right. First swing is going to be a miss. Second swing. And that one's going to be a hit. Oh, nine damage, ignoring half armor. How, how are you two looking, by the way, during this whole thing? Um, I'm at 38 of 60. Because it didn't... Yeah. I'm at 54 of 60. Japers. Borgs, they are so hard to take down. <laughs> yeah. Sparks, well, uh, you think we send them? We sent them into the ring. <laughs> Sparks, are you doing anything yeah. on, on this turn, or what's up? If they're caught in a grapple, can he not evade? If they're all sitting, uh, floating around. The uh, I think you just think take it's a. a I, 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 it's a like minus two penalty <laughs> to evasion. Oh, we lost someone. Hmm? Oh, it was Emilio. Oh no! Oh no! He'll be back. Oh no! Um. Oh yeah. All right. So minus two to him. I'm gonna soak a plus two. We're gonna try to hit him one more time with the uh, with the sleeping uh, sleeping shit. Do it. Okay. So nineteen versus. Yeah. Oh my god! Hey, so. Uh, they need to roll resist drugs and torture. Do they? Yeah, this is sedate. Yeah. Uh, I, they, they still get the ability to uh, try to overcome the sedative. Because it's in combat. Okay. It's a DV-15, though. They assume. Oh, they failed. Um, Trinity, you feel flat pack trying to struggle and just kind of... They they just kind of feel like a limp noodle on you at this point. He's out for a full minute. No, I just. Out for... Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Your head of security just choked himself out. <laughs> or, or awoken by taking damage, or another outside party uh, taking an action to arouse. So essentially, now you can focus fire on the other one. All we right, twenty rounds, guys. Trinity. Okay. Our skull also, stomping. I feel like Trinity, not really, probably not paying attention to what Sparks is doing. Just gonna assume like, ah, oh, that brain injury must have just kicked in. <laughs> that headshot. That was that. Oh, was you're, go you're going for. <laughs> I'm gonna assume. Are you following up with a headshot then? Oh. Okay. I have a. Do you think he grapple. wakes up if he gets hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like he, he's he out. Can't evade this he can't evade. He is out if you want to just Two. straight up do damage to his head. And he's I'm taking times three really damage from it to his head. Hit him in the head. I, I think I'm gonna hit him. Probably yeah. would kill him. Yeah. So go ahead and uh, roll me uh, your damage, Trinity. Okay. Squish like his dumb. Yeah. Squish his dumb. Uh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> Uh, so 15 times 3 right. is 45, 51 Hold on, damage I have total. to determine what gets through. Okay, yeah, sorry. 21 oh, minus okay. s 6. It's 15, <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, uh, 45 damage. Trinity, how are, how, are you, how are you finishing him? Like, how are okay, you going so to do this? Okay, so since he's like kind of... He like, since he tried to grab me, I assume he was a little on top of me, so I just... As he goes limp, I just kind of like... Flip off him real quick and just like 
curb stomp him in the head. To understand, yeah. he only had 22 hit points left. He doesn't <laughs> have a head. <laughs> yeah, right smile the cue ball. Love it. Um, yeah. Trinity, that is a very like, gruesome that... way to put someone out. <laughs> That's fair. That Two cool. humanity but... loss. <laughs> okay, what do I roll for that? Uh... <laughs> Th that uh, it's uh, just no, it's, it's just it's just lost. Oh, solid yeah, two. Yeah. Two. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That I don't know. A... Like after I do this, just like look a cue ball dead in the eyes. Right after that. Uh, face down, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Plus my rep. Yes. I always forget, and I don't Did know why. Someone try to get my attention. No. Yeah. Oh, I thought. I, uh, okay. Oh my God, I can't type. Should All get right. A bonus on me, I think. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Marks, that's probably a pretty colorful show right, right there. I cool it like I have a cool like a four. Do not have great cool. Sparks, you you, you like all eight. you see is just like a big explosion, like big fiery explosion when uh, that happens. A fiery explosion. All right. Okay, so they're they're not shaking. Oh, fire! Do you want me to roll two diamond for the face down? Uh, I suppose go ahead. See how you're available. You can assist Trinity, and then we will uh, take our break um, after the match. If that's okay. Yeah. That's a that's a Ooh. bloody cliffhanger nice. right there. <laughs> actually, well, actually, no. Uh, I think that's fine. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Work. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna take a quick break. Um, I know this match has been taking most of the, most of the night, but this is kind of an important one because this is gonna determine a big outcome in this upcoming fight. I mean, we've right. already taken out one of their security. <laughs> yep. So we'll be back. All right, folks. So uh, today's rather bloody, bloody battle. Uh, has uh, been uh, brought to you by the following people. Lion Banner Games, Studio Agate, Free League Publishing, Sirenscape, Fantasy Grounds, Modiphius, and Loki Battle Maths. And also, of course, to the viewers like you. Thank you. So, the party is currently at the Slammer as Emilio and Trinity are fighting, well probably not for their lives anymore like uh, they're 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 beating the living shit out of they, i mean well they've already stomped out flat pack I, I i didn't realize it was gonna be a very bloody ending for him but yeah i mean these guys got big money on the line so they're trying to make it work <laughs> oh and uh, of course, Bedlam is having uh, a time to uh, just reconnect with the universe. Uh, literally seeing everything from you know, all sorts of the galaxy. From what even the High Riders might have even seen. Yes, of course, we're never going to forget about the High Riders. All right. Oh, also, on top of that, by the way, um, there's already being teasers put out for Danger Gal Dossier, and I gotta say, they are lovely. I am super excited to see what else is coming out today. Actually, I, I, I suppose maybe I'll just uh, treat myself to just a moment to see what might be coming down the line. Yeah, but so far they've uh, released uh, some folks from Team Monster, or a, a member of Team Monster, and I think it's so cool. 
I, I, I'm super, super excited to uh, get Danger Gal dossier because I think it's going to be a fun read. And plus, it's going to be nice to get some more cool characters to put in Night City. And the Tiger Claws logo for uh, the Time of the Red is not quite what I expected. And yeah, that's, uh, by the way, speaking of Tiger Claws, that's what DICE is going to be releasing today for uh, a sneak peek for the uh, upcoming book. Which, um, by the way, friends, what faction are you guys excited for? If, uh, anyone, because I'm super excited to see, like, Generation Red and the Zoners. I am super excited to see them. All right, we got one for the Tiger Claws. Let's see. Oh, we got Maelstrom, of course. Um, apparently, um, the path uh, or the the sightseers is an Aldecaldo uh, branch, which I'm gonna be uh, interested to see what they got. Oh, uh, let's see. Who else was there? Let's see. Of course, there's Team Monster. You got Danger Gal, Puma Squad. Um, also, we got we have a a uh, trauma team that's gonna be joining. Uh, the Bozos. Actually, I, don't, I wonder if Artel may have dropped anything on their end. Mm, that's getting exciting. Oh, I'm just, I, I'm super super excited. Oh yeah, they're way closer to releasing that new book than I thought they were. Oh yeah, I I I, I thought they were aiming for quarter four of this, try, but they are printing in August, looks like. So. That's oh, that's where. Oh, so that's how they came up with Team Monster because of their partnership with uh, Monster Fight Club. So it's a hat tip to them. Uh, not Valentine likely the Valentinos. Well, actually. Uh, they, they, they brought up the list. Let me go over to Artal's website, which I, I love, I love cyberpunk, uh, not just because of the world of cyberpunk, but because of the gaming community it has fostered where it's a pretty healthy one. I, I care to think. All right, let's go to sneak peek. Part one, uh, or I think it was part two. Mark two. So we got the six street boys. We got Bozos, Danger Gal Puma Squad, the Digital Divas, which I'm super excited to see because uh, we had that one gig Digital Divas burning it down. Uh, then we have. Uh, of course, Edge Runners, which is just a, a bunch of Edge Runners. Generation Red, uh, which honestly, back in like 2020 when we first started playing uh, during the, the time of the plague, um, the uh, we, we, we had kind of addressed the kids as Generation Red to begin with. Uh, we got the Maelstrom, NCPD Precinct 1, uh, N54, uh, Fiona Hayes' squad, the Piranhas, the Sightseers, Team Monster, Trauma Team, NC4-2, Tiger Claws, and the Zoners. Oh, 
Uh, I'm surprised they aren't throwing like uh, Iron Sights or Red Chrome Legion or other groups in there. I love that they're bringing in Yo Gangs, the kids. Oh yeah. It's so cool. But it it's... sounds like they also are uh, giving um, guidance on how to implement them. Yeah, yeah, not is to not be like, yeah. I mean, they're kids. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're kids, but these are also kids that are possibly running around with a rocket launcher. Yeah, yeah, it's like that episode of uh, Futurama where they think they're in the future, but they're just in L.A. and, <laughs> and, the, and the kids are just going, yeah. I mean, you can just go down to your uh, local uh, pack a punch and uh, go buy yourself a rocket launcher. Sure, it might blow up on you, and that might be a lot of damage right next to your head. But hey, but it's a rocket launcher. It's a rocket launcher. <laughs> just don't try to take it out of the tube. Uh, you'll you'll have to transport it loaded if you put one in the, in the slot, or you'll just have to discharge it. Trinity, that was badass. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Stick I'm excited. It was cool. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong, Trinity. You're you're gonna get remembered for doing that. Like it, it, that people saw that live on stream. Nice. You literally yeah, took an camera after, girl streaming it. <laughs> you you literally took an up and coming afterlife solo and stomped on his head. Just. I mean, no drink for him, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have Sparks. You, you I have all my money on the fear. line, so. I, I suppose that Sparks is currently away. We're going to go ahead and make our way around here to Emilio. Oh, that's right. It is my turn. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're leaving off with the fact that you guys just left this. Uh, I mean, also on top of that, um, Hugh Ball is a little shaken from that, but they're going to keep fighting because uh, it's two pe four people enter, two people leave. So go ahead, Amelia. How are you wanting to do this? Well, let's, I'm going to start punching. All right, so let's see. That 15 is going to hit, and let me roll that second evasion here. Skull Crusher, crush your skulls. <laughs> skull Crusher. Change my elf line's name, Skull Crusher. The real bone breaker. Breaker of bones. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're, we're going to have, let's see, 15 damage to the... Oh, my goodness. Oh. Your chrome is going to look real sweet on me, Choom. Shapers. That got a little dark a little quick. All right. Ooh. Rip his arm off. The flat pack is the big dead. Is he dead dead or? or... His head isn't there anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. He's got his block off. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know what? if I was being able uh, to make us some extra money if I decided to cry of him. All right. I like the idea of Sparks sitting there tripping out and being like, I don't know if he's dead. <laughs> just sleeping. The, yeah. All right. Uh, and like, it, it, it's like a CGI explosion. It's just kind of what you, you see when uh, the explosion happens. It's kind of what it's looking like. Um, you okay, man? It perma slept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so first swing at you, Emilio. Oh, I thought the other. All right, that's gonna be a miss. And second swing. 
So that's all you get. Oh! Good lay! Nice. Milo's rolling hot. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh boy, here we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Is, is that gonna be enough? No. No! 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 Close. Oh, <laughs> Sparks, anything else on, on, on your end at the moment? You're four shy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, or uh, it, Sparks? Nope, Sparks is just cheering at this point. All right. Trinity. Okay. I see Amelia like just dodge and everything. I'm gonna go like from behind like try and grab the guy so that then Amelia can just like punch at him afterwards. Oh. Alright, uh, roll to hit or roll to grab. Uh, I'll put the rest of my luck in it so it's another plus two and then whatever from from our pool of plus two so that'd be a plus four to this. So, 24. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, 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 hi, Dice! So, you you go and you grab a hold of them here here in the cage, and they're struggling against you, getting absolutely pummeled by Emilio. You, Emilio, by the way, you're up. Yay. I mean, if he's grappled, he can't dodge now. <laughs> they don't get a dodge? Uh, they do get a dodge, it's just... Uh, minus two. Okay. Grapple? Let's see. Oh, a defender I, cannot I, I, use I, their move action. Is dragged. I I, I thought. Uh, One sec. I thought you couldn't dodge because that's how we were doing it in outlines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's game world. Yeah. I think it is. Game I world? think it is just a minus two. Yeah, it's just a minus all two all, when grappled. All, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they can't move. No, they yeah, cannot. They, can't uh, they are moves. they are at the mercy of Trinity. Um, so go ahead and uh, roll to. Hit. I mean, they're they're, they're they're so they're they're taking a minus four. Holy crap! All right, so fifteen damage to them. You you're you're literally using this man as your punching bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Second attack, sloppy. Horribly it's horrible. Sloppy. sloppy. In the words of Ilbert know. from uh, 14. Get them a little but... excited. Oh, uh, yeah, he's slobbering. He is struggling through this fight at this point. Um. Oh, <laughs> So, minus 13, uh, plus 7, 18. All right, at this point, um, let's see. I, I think at this point, uh, you just see, though, like, a bunch of, like, tiny machines run over the skin and seem to pull uh, their... Fle their uh, uh, pull their uh, subdermal armor back together. James. <laughs> are, are we going to get to loot the body? I'm alive. I'm we that. need it for an investigation. All right, Trinity, you're up. Okay. Um, can I start trying to like choke him? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've right, not no, done that please. before. How does that work? Do you need to roll. You just do your body. You just do your body stat to them. What's your body stat? Uh, my body's at twelve. So, Emilio, as you're punching him, and as you you start choking him, and he's like struggling for air, grabbing at you. Uh, you could feel like his, you could feel like him, like just kind of stop struggling after a little bit. Um, there's some nice. Thick bruises around his neck. It's dead as a doornail. From all that <laughs> body trauma and uh, getting absolutely choked out. 
Well, I guess in that case, nice. then, let's see what the winnings are as uh, we go down the line here. Sparks, you make yourself, well, 200 eddies. Yay. Hey. Emilio, you went all or nothing on this, of course. Do or die, you, may, you now have 4,460 eddies. Trinity, you now have 2,000 eddies. Ezra, Yay. you now have. Oh my goodness, you're you're at seven thousand two hundred ninety eddies. Jesus. Yeah. All right. But have a have a good, good day, dice. Um. And then finally, of course, um, Nyx is going to be leaving with a thousand eds, as she uh, is. Give me a girl as well. Uh, yeah, uh, two thousand ads. Yep. So I made a thousand ads. Nice. Nyx just get gets up and starts running towards the cage. Let's fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> she is drunk as hell, and like you can see it in the eyes. Uh. uh was that spinal uh crit? Permanent or temporary? Um, I think that's a permanent one. It, yeah, it's I'm a permanent gonna, plus it. one to death save, so that'd be a... So you guys gotta go defense. home. <laughs> During this time, though, Bedlam, as you're going on your journey, uh, yeah. what are you reflecting on while you are on LSD here? Like, what what, what are you seeing? What, what are you feeling? You know, when I rolled my resist drugs, torture was pretty high. So I'm thinking I'm handling this pretty well. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty grateful for my crew. And, uh, you know, reflecting on all of the, you know, like the brotherhood I would feel with them, along with the resources that they provide for me to actually live beyond outside of my car. I'm like super grateful right now. I'm, and I like, I get a little like teary eyed thinking about tequila. Oh, so like, hope he's do oh hoping buddy. he's doing all right. You know, he's the, he he never admit it. That was that was one of his best friends. Oh, so I'm, he's just I'm appreciating gonna... what he's got, dude. You know, I'm, just like hand gonna... out the window. I'm gonna, guys, gonna... Hey, I'm gonna feel enjoy. bad if I send tequila home to sh from Shanghai in a box. I'm gonna feel a little bit bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just appreciating himself. He's gonna head on down to the planetarium, and he just gets out and he just starts walking in, right, and just yeah. opens the door, just like walks right into the employee oh. entrance, like he belongs. You know, this was your time it's in the planetarium the while you were reflecting. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I was like, so, and then, as uh, what's the planetarium show about? Is there anything particular um, going on? It, it's a. Uh... It's uh, kind of covering uh, the uh, history of constellations and uh, like where, um, like how, how they're all drawn out. So super boring nerd shit. I yeah. pull out some blue glass and I just start smoking it in the planetarium while he's talking about it. You're the only one in there. That's the thing. You, you just kind of kicked it on because it's after hours. <laughs> yeah. All right. Perfect. That's even better. I was... I'm just gonna enjoy myself, smoke some blue glass, can watch the, the planetarium. Can I get to resist drugs and torture? You absolutely can. Let's hope I don't get addicted to blue glass, everybody. <laughs> That's a bad one to get addicted to. Yeah. It really is. I'm gonna use a plus two. Alright. <laughs> that toxin screen's really good to work out today. And two of my luck, so this is at plus four. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, you're you're good. You're good. Nice. So after the show's done, I'm handling it like a boss. I'm having a great you're, trip. You're gonna be able to go back. <laughs> uh, so you're going back to go pick up the party. Who's which? Emilio and Trinity. By the way, how beat the shit are you two? Too bad. Like honestly, I took more damage from the fight. You know beforehand. <laughs> I lost two points off my armor, and I'm down six hit points out of the 60 I have, so... God! Damn! Yeah, I, Tr Trinity, I think like, the worst that, that happened was Trinity's back injury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, 
here's stabilized for both of y'all. So Trinity. I don't have any Amelia. I don't have any injuries. You had wounds. Yeah, yeah. So it, it has from both. And then Trinity, you're gonna require a surgery to take care of the spinal. Yeah. You see I will uh You see Slammer well, staff picking up the other two bodies and taking them. Pull out the pull out the badge. Nah, 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 Chum. I need I'm sorry. And any cadavers that land on our floor are our property. I mean, te technically, on unless uh, Trinity dropped him, he's not hit the floor yet. And by the way, you're in the combat zone, <laughs> badge. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, I probably would have dropped him once he was dead. So. No, what was it? I'll make one later. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, Trinity? Oh, I was just saying that, like, yeah, I, I, w once I had choked him out, I would have dropped him. All right. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. I wanted, I wanted the guys to turn us. I mean, you'll probably find the right place to find that kind of stuff. Woo! Right there. <laughs> of course. Yeah, found the right place. Yes, Ezra? Is there another fight coming up after this one? Uh, that's the last one of the night. Uh, by this point, Bedlam would be coming in to pick you guys up. Bedlam is... Jonah, I obviously stole a drink from their concession stand. I've got, like, a teddy bear or something. It looks like the teddy bear I saw on the road or something. Yeah, I just stole Bedlam, stuff from their you you're, you're kind of flashing out a little bit, uh, but you're... <laughs> yeah. Oh, like hey guys! So, so he's on LSD and flashing out from blue glass. Blue glass, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Hey, <laughs> I'm that drinking a cold. smash as I walk into you know. They're all, they're hey all guys, how now. is how is everybody? Oh fine. Oh, Ezra's but, great. He just made a ton of these, so he's yeah. But Bedlam, you are you okay? You know what? I'm fantastic. You good to drive? Fantastic, Sasha. It... I'm always good to drive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's the way Bedlam, who the fuck is Sasha? Uh, I'm Veronica, oh, yes. remember? Yeah, I'm both sorry. Got... <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he just plays it off. Like... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, he's uh, he's seeing through the fourth dimension right now. I mean, I've, I've got my got my car outside. If uh, anyone would rather ride with me. Well, you guys got to take somebody to go see a doctor. Yeah. That's right. I'm here for I'm here for Sparks. Let's get you taken care of, buddy. I want to come along, Nick, just 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 to make sure. <laughs> Nix is pretty drunk. I should probably get her back to her apartment. I am fine. Let me tell you something about you. I, I, if, if you think I am intoxicated right now, honey, you have not seen me after a fucking piranhas party. I have gotten so plastered. I've, <laughs> I got plastered one night in Little Europe, and I woke up in New Westbrook the next morning. So I am fine. Wouldn't it be nice to sleep it off? In your nice new apartment, I'll say locking eyes with her and trying to turn on the persuasion. <laughs> you, you're you're I, getting I, a stink eye from from Gamma Girl, Ezra. It was, <laughs> I you know I, I I I see what's going on here. I'm not stupid. I'm. I'll I'll see you guys later. <laughs> you're, I tell you're, her how good. I you're appreciate welcome, her. You're welcome to take a lift next if you want. Nothing. Like, nothing's gonna happen. I'll get With you that, uh, she is on her way out the door. Hey, boss, I'll see you for work tomorrow. I think, that kid's, gonna, I think that kid's gonna be alright. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, I think that kid's gonna be alright. Alright? All right. <laughs> so, Bedlam, you're uh, taking uh, Sparks out to Chop Shops' clinic then? Uh, 
Uh, I guess uh, Ron calls yeah, yeah. Off everyone else off. I, I We're going to head go back to the, the clinic. Uh, head out with Bedlam. Goes. All right. <laughs> just to, I want to make sure Sparks gets the help he actually needs. If not, I'd rather <laughs> be there in case something goes wrong. Uh, it's going to... He's going to be in for a week. Yep. <laughs> At least. So well, you, you just take him to the doctor, drop him out front, or like, you <laughs> sign him in? <laughs> well, you need to take him to the clinic. <laughs> well, usually Bedlam would drive up to the front, kick him out of the front seat, and just let him fall down and have him find him and figure it out, right? <laughs> but... but... <laughs> He's in a good mood. You guys, he'll, he'll walk him in. He'll sign him in. He's I'm his emergency contact. <laughs> but as, as you guys get here, you actually back to Sparks' old cargo container park out to, well, the precipice. And uh, uh, she she does have a a separate uh, clinic. Oh, okay. So to her clinic, which. Yeah. Of course, Chop Shop uh, would have gotten word from Wingnut about this, so... Yep. I was wondering how that intro was going to be made. Yeah. Alright, so... Like... Uh, you're bringing Sparks in then, Bedlam? Yep. Yeah, it's Sasha. I'll let you take over since that, that is your, your character. Yeah, so uh, as you walk into the clinic, you you see it's uh, incredibly clean and sanitized, and uh, there's uh, a male strummer sitting in a chair with uh, uh, the two cyber arms, the Groshi monovision, and she just looks up and says, "Well, welcome to the chop shop. What can I do for you?" Loving well, man. this place is pretty nice. You got a nice place going here. A friend of mine needs some help. Are you? Would you be able to? Uh... Sparks. <laughs> At this point, I'm I'm starting to kind of crash down because the alcohol's got me kind of sleepy. <laughs> chop chop! It it floor. looks like a bad case of the tin shakes. <laughs> uh too too much chrome for the meat, eh? Don't worry. Chop Shop will take care of you. Don't worry. Come back later. It's see, like, seen a lot of that back lunch. in the gang. All right. Well, uh, so, what, all right. Are, you, are you wanting the uh, the quick and dirty cor course, or are you wanting the, the full, deep, deep experience? I think you're going to have to get in there for him. I don't know if he can... I that's really deep. hit all the walls. Stop. <laughs> you gotta do an addiction cure first, right? Because that's one of the, that's one of the problems is the negative from the addiction is almost the biggest negative he has right now, correct? Or ooh, the biggest gang gang back? Well, is, is that, you, is that no. something I could do, Diamond? So, I, I I think it was just uh, if. If he received treatment within yeah, the time he was. As long as he okay. received some form of humanity uh, gain, uh, it cancels out the LSD's dr bad drop, is what's going to happen. Oh, okay. All right. I was going to say, yeah. Okay. Understood. So, you're going to so be you... spending the week at Chop Shop's place then. So, you want the intense therapy then? I'm all about intensity, man. Yes. Oh, I'm loving the look. <laughs> it's gonna be a thousand ads. <laughs> I pull out my pockets and I'm like, uh. <laughs> Tell you what, since you're uh, looking after a uh wing nut, I'll I'll give you a ten percent discount. Call it nine nine hundred ads. Okay. I'll, I'll drop nine hundred ads down. Oh, that's like really great of you, man. Yeah, yeah, you're not so bad for a job. Out of the shop. We'll just call it, we'll just call it an even trade. And if not, <laughs> well, you know, he's kind of the person I was sent here to work for, so I want a paycheck at the end of the day. If getting him sane is going to help with that, here's the money. I look over at Chop Shop and I'm like, he's a pretty good guy, huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> Even after like, he just said he's doing it for the money, you know? Seems like a bit of a sucker, but Pretty hey, good oh. <laughs> Hey, it costs extra to be a sucker. <laughs> At this point, I've found a couch and I've passed out. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Jim, come on. Let, let's get you into the therapy session. Ooh. All right. Yeah, before we leave, I, yeah, I, I, I tell... That's this is your maelstrom uh, character, isn't it? Yep. Right, like, yeah, uh, is with the with the whole with the whole red eye mount. It's all brutal. The, like, so Bedlam's gonna be. Like, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, aren't you a charmer, nomad boy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna trip out on that for a little bit before he takes off. <laughs> All right. So, uh, that's a 19 on the medical tech check for the therapy diagnosis. Oh, lovely! You beat the 17. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a week of downtime for you guys to make some money, of course, before night market. So, mm -hmm. or rest to recover. You know, because some of you guys got beat to shit. So we're going to go ahead and go on down the line here to see what we need from everyone. By the way, uh, Gamer Girl, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, have received a notice from the garden uh, that that recent stream over at uh, over at um, the Slammer has received mm -hmm. like already over 5000 views like the, the, specifically the clip. Of Trinity do smashing <laughs> um, the flat pack's uh, head. Nice. So, Trinity and Emilio, your guys' reputations both go up by one. Nice. For uh, a rather brutal um, all in fight and coming out on top. All right. I see Sirenscape is. Starting to struggle again, it looks like. I will happily take a round of five now. So, uh, do, you want, do you want me to roll the 46 for the humanity regain diamond? Uh, I was gonna just go ahead and toss those. Go for it, that's fine. So, we're gonna go ahead and go uh, down, the, the, down the line. Emilio, uh, this week, are you wanting to side hustle or are you just taking some time to rest and uh, get some R&R &R in? Hustle. Hustle, Jeepers! All right, so no rest for the for the badge. It seems. Roll me a d6. Yeah, Two. All right. So you got a reward from a grateful citizen, or a bribe. Two hundred eddies. Or maybe extortion. Huh? Um. Is Emilio rank five yet, or is he still rank four? Or what? What rank of a cop are you? Four. I am yeah. four. Two hundred ads. Okay. All right. Of course, Trinity. What are you up to? A little bit of rest, or what are you thinking? I mean, I do need to rest up a little bit, so I probably should do that. All right, taking the week to rest, no problem. Yeah. All right, Ezra, what are you doing this week? Therapy. All right, uh, how much are you paying for? Uh, what, what is it? What is the difference on the D6s? Uh, uh, 2D6 2D6 for... 500, 46 for 1,000. Uh, I'll go for the 500. All right, so Ezra. Oh, I, I, I usually just toss therapy behind, behind the veil oh, here. Sorry, go, go ahead. Then. You are receiving 10 humanity back. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, so, so you're probably you. either off to C City Medical Center or um, Crisis to uh, oh. get this uh, squared away. Can I go to Chop Shop? 
Uh, so you'd be, uh, well, Chop Shop's currently busy with well, Sparks we uh, over at Cry, which Chop okay. Shop would have to take Sparks over to Crisis to go do this. Yep. All right, understood. I'll just, whatever. All right. Whoever. Six, seven, nine, two. So, Gamer Girl, what are you up to this week? Uh, I'm gonna do a rock and boy hustle. All right, uh, go ahead and roll me a d6. And I am rank five, Rockham. Rank five. You are an opening act for a big name group. So in this situation, you are probably um, at one of the, uh, you were basically uh, leading before one of the bigger streams uh, came through. Nice. And uh, well, you made yourself 500 eddies on that one. Nice. And then of course, what, Bedlam, what are you up to? this week I think I'm gonna be hustling as a fixer oh, oh okay go ahead and uh, roll me a uh, d6 okay I just uh, I got level five you know and uh I'm gonna take Chinese as my new language I hadn't really decided yet, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. or Mandarin well Mandarin China you know I'll, I'm gonna do Mandarin yeah. for my new language and you need a d6 from me yep So now I know Japanese and Mandarin. Three. Uh, so you helped a, a client locate a desirable item and they needed, and you got a cut out of it. 300 eddies. Nice. And finally, Sparks, you are going through a rather intense therapy session this week. Oh. Let's see, here, here we go, I'll, I'll add this up real quick. Oh! Oh, that's promising. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh! Um, first time I've had this ever happen on a therapy roll. Was that four sixes? 24 humanity back! <laughs> Holy shit! Nice, maxed humanity. Chop Shop had a very successful week this week. That is awesome. That brings me to 32. That is fast. Brings you back from the... Brings you back all the way from the brink. Great. Now I can start shoving more in. <laughs> this is the way. I got the buffer uh, back. I'm feeling fine. Let's find some more... As soon as... Yeah. It, oh. Uh, it, 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 when you come back out of the... Out of the psychotherapy and stuff, Chop Chop will uh, put a hand on your shoulder. Look, Chum, you might want to you might want to take the uh, chipping in a little slower. It's uh, you're you're pretty close to going over the edge there. Yeah, yeah. It, I I can't help it. I, it's you know, I mean you you know you you lived in this world for uh for a while. It's it's. The allure, you know, as, uh. as I shrug with forearm. Uh, <laughs> like, uh. I can't help I, uh. I look at this, at the flesh, and I, it, you know, it's like, no. It, the, the, the weakness of your flesh disgusts you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You see, know the reference. You see, uh, <laughs> wait, you see Wingnut is uh, waiting in the clinic alongside Nyx. Well, boss, I mean, Chop Shop's seen me, uh, like, probably on some of my worst days. Um... I, I'd, I'd recommend. I, I've had a hell of a lot of stuff pulled out of me, so like I, I'd, I'd say you might want to take it slow. You're you're pretty loaded, like more loaded oh. than some of the male strummers I'd see. Yeah, yeah, I agree. yeah. yeah. I, I've seen I've seen folks go psycho from uh, half what you've got that's jammed in there. Uh. Oh, it, was, it was fire for a while. It just I I, I pushed the edge a little bit. What what am I? That's life. <laughs> one of my exes had a uh, had like a skin weave and a uh, and a, an auditorial sweep put in. Threw them over immediately. Oh God. Yeah. Some sometimes it can just be how your brain takes the takes the chrome. It, sometimes it, it takes well. Sometimes it just utterly rejects it. 
Well, next time when, we, when I'm ready to start pushing that again, can I come well, back uh, to you? I mean, you did that. Uh, yeah, you're always welcome here. And I, honestly, as your therapist, I'd rather you come to me so I know what I'm working with. Done and done. And if you ever want to come over here, I'm, I'm welcome to. Uh, you know, you'd be welcome to. I cannot talk today. Jesus, Jimmy Crickets. <laughs> yeah. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's all canon. I will. I would be stumbling all, all over this because I'm like, "Well, yeah, you, you, you've just oh, yeah. gone through an intense hypnotherapy, so yeah, yeah. and there, lots of drugs." Yep. <laughs> there's a thing. On. <laughs> um, I I offered buy uh, to buy our drinks and stuff as a way of <laughs> at least of saying thanks. Uh, as long as it's just a drink, tune. <laughs> No worries. Not, exa I... not exactly my type for anything more. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear you. Now, nah, besides, I, I'm too busy for that shit anyway. And um, Wingnut looks over. Thank, thanks, Chop Shop. Uh, uh, I, I owe you one yet. So, yeah. If you Cheshire need something put together, just come by Scrum and Steel, and I can get something put together for you, for a price, of course. Of course. Of... <laughs> and hey. It wouldn't want you to lose on your first legitimate job so soon. <laughs> and she, she just ruffles the uh, wing nuts here. Oh, she's she's fine. You get the friend's discount anyway. But, uh, <laughs> no, she's doing really good. Uh, you know, and again, I, and I turned wing nuts. You know, uh, I'm sorry about, obviously, the uh, last week. The, it's fine oh, though. Yeah. Jerry had stopped in at the shop and was wondering where you've been this whole week. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's back at the shop right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that. Okay, okay. I I make sure my suit's nice and tidy. All right. Well, at least shot Chrome and Steel's not too far of a walk. It's like maybe a couple blocks away. <laughs> That's right, you said this was where I used to live. Yeah. Uh, nearby where I used to live, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah, because uh, Chop Chop's in the same cargo container you used to be in. <laughs> uh, oh, that, yeah, I used to stay right same, up there. Same cargo container place. That, not not the exact same container. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We've already established that. Yeah. <laughs> but sure enough, um, when you get there, you see Jerry just uh, sitting, just... Kind of like half asleep at one of the tables. Walk in and go. All right, we're gonna have to turn up the charm here. <clears throat> Jerry, hey, what's up, man? Ah, Alan, hi. Mm. Hey, what brings you this side of town? Um, well, I, uh, I, I, I had something I needed you to take care of this week, but it appears you were out of the office, but it didn't get any no notice of leave. What happened? Are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I had I had some personal business I had to go take care of. Kind of looks uh, over your chrome. Japers. What? You, I'm trying to remember. Did I get the arm upgrade before I got hired or after? Uh, uh you got it after you were hired. Okay. <laughs> um. Man, um, why do you have so much chrome? Like, I understand that's what we're in the business of doing, but holy shit, you're gonna... How have you not gone psycho? I no, I don't have that much. It's... I'm promoting the Rockland brand. See? And I, I pointed uh, one of the... The medical arms is... Still got... Well, Maybe a little bit of the barcode left, so it was one of the Rockland versions of the uh, medical did, grade stuff. Did, did you get uh, sponsored cyber? Arm? Um, I should have. I didn't. I didn't want any of the. I was running too far on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why the arms are zero. So, care to explain what your what your business was that you were out doing? really need to know that? I really need to know that because 
My job's on the line right now. Oh. Why? What's up? So I had a project that I was supposed to get started a week ago. Okay. And that project was going to involve having my techs work on something. Oh. Okay. You are right now my only tech I have employed right now. Ah. That would be a problem. That is a very big problem. Uh, how, how soon and what is Um, well, I am, uh, trying to make a, I am trying to make a better Sandevistan, uh, compared to what we have currently because Militech wants a better Sandevistan. Okay. Um, you got any specs on, on what you wanted to do or are you just, are you still needing, are we still in the design phase? So, I want this thing to be able to move faster. Like, double that of a Karenzikov. Alright? Okay. Double, double that of the Karenzikov. And you can fire it off as, uh, quicker than than uh, any other uh, than, like, any other San Devastan you might have seen. I mean, hell. If this thing could, you know, maybe make you move faster, that would be that would be amazing. The neural load on that would be horrible, you know. Oh, I mean, of course, you just need to have some therapy. I mean, of course, eh, it's overrated. I mean, what's a little Borg wear gonna do to anyone? I mean, you look, look at yourself. All about style. Um, okay. But also on top of that, I understand it's a big order, but it needs to be discreet. I understand it's a big order. That's that's easy enough. Who am I gonna tell? No, I mean, it, like you can't see it. Like it needs to be under the skin, subdermal. Like we oh, 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 we, oh. we swap out your. Basically, this thing's becoming a brand new spine. Oh, okay, okay. Out of game. I thought that was internal, or at least neuralware. Uh, it's it, it's neuralware. Um, I I care to think like during the time of the red, some of the sand devastants are bulky, others are small. But like, they they he wants something really big put in a small package is what he wants. Okay, streamlined. All right. Yep. So oh, yeah. Well, there's 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 stuff with uh, micro machines lately that that might be able to help. And I'm going to give you a budget of 5,000 eddies to work on this. Okay. It, I mean, it, I mean, it's going to cost 5,000 eddies uh, to produce, but I, I, I want to sell this up to Rockland, and I, I, I'm looking at the possibility of climbing up the ladder, and I am requiring you to be one of the rungs, if you understand. Nah, I I'm being, that. I'm being forward on this one, nah, but don't worry, okay. I'll make sure you get a cut. Royalties? Are we gonna do royalties here? I wouldn't say royalties, but I'm saying if time comes around, I'll make sure that you uh, get. I, I I'll make sure you get that promotion that you might be applying for. Ah, okay. That he winks. Makes... Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, get to it. We we need right, this. Um... This needs to be done yesterday, basically. Okay. All right, I gotta go see some of the other uh, places real quick, but um, whoever that uh other gal is that works with you, rude as hell. As he uh, leaves the shop. <laughs> I just kind of. Oh yeah. Wait till he walks out the door. Okay. Wing that's just like. Uh, I take it you don't like him? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's... I, I don't know if I like this or not, but it could it could make some serious uh, cash, though. So we'll see about it. <laughs> this is Militech. That, that's kind of a... Yeah. That's just an awfully big bite for some small techs like us. Like. Oh, I don't mind that. I'm just thinking about the tech itself. Oh. I mean... I'm tempted. I'll, I'll see if <laughs> I, I can draw... I I'll see if I can draw something up. I mean, I've seen a fair share of sand devastants. I might even go talk to Chop Shop on this one. Not a bad idea. Um, I'll, I'll want to see a few designs. 
All right. Trinity. Yep. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, what's up, Sparks? Nope, nope. I just said excellent. All right. Trinity. Okay. Yep. Um, during the week at the tower, you see um, what appears to be a small gathering outside uh, flat pack and cue balls uh, cargo container. I forgot they lived around me. Whoops. <laughs> and it's like, well, you saw what she did to flat pack. Are we just going to let this absolute psycho live in our tower? No. So we're gonna... agreed to a fight to the death. They all just kind of look up. Well, does that mean you have to agree to it? I mean, I assume he would have done the same to me had, you know, a table been turned. Well, you see, uh, one of them step up with a, uh, with a bat. Here's the problem. You killed two of our community's protectors. So you got two options here. You leave the tower, or we make you leave the tower. It's your choice. So you're gonna get rid of another of the protectors? So... <laughs> Sounds fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I, I, I protect this tower too. <laughs> How many people are there? Yeah. Uh, in this group, there, there's uh, six people. Uh, the, the, the six, six gangers in front of you. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, these people are uh, just, these people are just known as tower men. They they literally tend to uh, the security of the tower. Look, so, I'm not going anywhere. This is where I live. And this is where you're leaving. No. And I'm gonna walk back into my container and just like shut and lock the door and ignore them. If they want to come in, I'll deal with them then. Trinity. Trinity. Yep. Paul. Oh, I heard an echo of my voice yeah, there for a moment. Oh. Whoa. That was big loud. Alright, guys. Push! And with that, you start feeling like people start heaving against a cargo container, trying to push it out of the Jenga stack at the moment. Okay. Well, if they're going to start trying to push this... Okay. Well, if they're going to um, try to push I guess I'm going to have to fight them. So, if I walk back to my container... I could probably get my... Let's see, what should I use for this? I'm going to grab my cleaver. And I'm going to walk out there with that. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Is it lit? Before I walk out, I'm going to... Because it takes a minute. So I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. And like Get in there, grab it, turn it on. And then start walking back out. And be like, you guys really want to do this? You gotta go. You guys really want to do this. Um, I'm just gonna make a drop a quick map here of these guys. Um, and um, I I suppose in that case then um, there. Is, how how are you wanting to deal with these people then? Uh, Trinity. Um. Huh? Well, I'm going to probably just attack, you know, just start off like, I'm going to attack one of them and hope that that, like, gets the rest of them to, you know. All right. Uh, roll, roll to hit one of them, then. I'm sorry, you're going one on six? One on six? I'm hoping to intimidate them, like, with this cleaver, you know? Yep. And if it's not working out, then I'll, I'll <laughs> figure out then. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll, we'll jump into um, a possible initiative while bouncing between, oh, oh. 
And how much armor do you ignore with that thing? Um, one second. I have it all. I think 11 or 9. Oh, that's going to be just a that's just a clean Anything? kill through one of the booster gangers. <laughs> 20? <laughs> I was like, you, wanna, you guys want to keep going? Call the cops. Call the cops. And with that, they, they, they start uh, scattering. She's going psycho! Uh, they, attack, they, they attack her and call the cops on her? Really? Well, of course. Try to push my... Oh, I'm not gonna I'll... Well, I'll talk to the cops when they get here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Emilio. Alright. So, Emilio, you are getting a call. Meanwhile, at the same time, you're hearing... Um, Central to all uh, Watson units, uh, Cyber Psycho in the tower. Uh, please respond as appropriate. So, Emilio, you're up. Uh, with your, you're, you're getting called a uh, call from Trinity. Go for Brighton. What's up, Emilio? I got a little bit of a problem, I think. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So. The these asshole guys were mad that I killed Flatpak, and they tried to push my cargo container like literally out of the tower. So I What's killed the, one of them. Hold that thought. This is Brighton. I got it. <laughs> I, I, I will report back to this guy. Like Officer Brighton, in pursuit. I got dibs. Um. Uh... <laughs> We're <laughs> Brighton. I don't think you're clear. I, I understand your SWAT, but I don't think you're cl cleared for C SWAT. Come on, let me prove it to him. If I go out, I go out myself. You don't even have to pay my pension or anything. <laughs> you just hear from from one of the sergeants. Ten four. Let him go. <laughs> All right. I'll be there. Give me a minute. Uh, you you hear Max Tack is just like getting ready to go though over the over the radio. You get one shot at this Brighton, you fuck up. <laughs> whatever whatever is so important about this one, uh, they, they're getting put down like a rabid dog. Okay. <laughs> so I, I head there, we were like, I'm gonna message Trinity on my way to the location. So I got Max Tech not to show up, but they're getting calls of a cyber psycho in the area. I'm guessing this is all involved with what you're doing. Mate, <laughs> it's possible. Highly it's possible. A, it's a it's a definite possibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of cyber psychos. Oh, cyber psycho and Watson though. She's not even a psycho, that's the thing. Right, uh, that, that's the like well, they think you're psycho, though. Hmm. I mean, Max you one hit clean kill. Head. I should using a rust of cleaver. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, you, you do arrive to find uh, there is a bloody blade and a severed body laying on the ground in front of Trinity's container, and people are running and panicking. The last thing I will say before getting into Trinity's container is going to be the quote unquote play along. I'm not going to shoot you, but I I will approach with like my Tommy knocker in hand, very much checking the corners, moving in there for the ascent of everyone seeing it's I, I'm going through standard cop behavior. All right. Okay. So am I? Yeah, I'll probably be in my cargo waiting for him. So are we just gonna like. It's like, are, should I pretend that you killed me? Do you want me to do that? <laughs> Hold on. Like, I'll get to the scene, see the body, kind of like shut around. Like, anybody got any recording? Where's the psycho? They all keep pointing over at Trinity's container. <laughs> okay. Like, anybody see? Anybody got a recording of what went down? Uh, one of the shows just Trinity clean killing. The uh, the others, uh, the uh, tower men look over. Do you want us to come back you up on this one? Fuck no. 
All right. If you guys are calling it a, a, a psycho for something, you know, this minute, I don't need the extra. Recycling cleanup doesn't need the extra work. <laughs> you guys got anything before the, the chop here on your video recording? Like still uh, pointing gun at container? Shows uh, them yelling at Trinity to leave and they try to start pushing the box and then it leads to uh, that. Forward, forward me the entire file, citizens, and you guys clear out of here. I don't want any more collateral damage. Okay. We'll, we'll get people out of here. So, uh, can I get an acting check from both of you, or uh, persuasion, or use something to make it look like, I guess, uh, you, you're you dealing with each other? <laughs> the wrestling lock up <laughs> Hey, well, here's the better question, okay, that I want to ask you. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't ask, but... um, What's up? So, they recognize Trinity from the whole thing because of the video, right? Nobody recognizes me? Uh, people do... <laughs> people <laughs> do recognize you, but they don't know you by name here at the tower compared to Trinity. Okay. Uh, that's an 18 um, persuasion. Let's try, try persuasion. Mm, I'm not. I'm not great at the persuading of things. Oh dear. The negative. Oh. So how are you guys wanting to play this one out? Because there is a media that is filming this as, as it's going on. Uh, once I get everyone to kind of clear the area, I will approach the cargo t container. Kick open the door and, and scream, you know, yeah, it's CPD on the ground now. Oh no, not on CPD. <laughs> and, I <laughs> and once, I, once I see them just completely like, you know, just not fitting, I guess, the scene or anything else, I'm just going to open fire on places I know aren't going to hit Trinity. Oh, that box of bang, that box bang. So the couple shots go off for the people. Uh, can't clearly see what's going in here. Yeah. And then I will proceed inside. Well, you're, you, you two, two people in the box. Um, as for everyone okay. else, you do see um, currently Emilio live shooting into Trinity's container, uh, dealing with a cyber psycho in progress, is what the news is saying. <laughs> Salvage. I will get a like, drop the weapon and move towards Trinity with lag. Let's wrestle. I'll say quietly. Oh my god. Like, uh, okay, and so <laughs> I, will, I, like... will, I will like as we're in nice. close, moving around. Like media's outside, and one thing's your psycho. I'm gonna handcuff you and bring you in. I'm also gonna have them leave your container and shit alone too. I have the evidence of a file that proves you're not psycho. Okay. And nobody brings a cyber psycho in with handcuffs. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. Feel you. I got. I got. Great. Let's make it look good. <sighs> uh, can I get brawling checks from you two then? Just to see like how well you can make this look. Okay. All right. All right. So shows the. I'm uh, terrible today. So you two go rolling out of the container and people are getting a view and you guys can see Emilio wrestling a pretty sane trinity into cuffs I don't you guys I don't think have quite the context of what's going on it does look like Emilio is arresting trinity <laughs> uh, but p ping the group the group chat the guy, what the fuck's going on Fucking cops! Yeah, <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> I have to talk uh, to would I have been able to friends. trade trade back in my car for uh, my, yeah. my gyro? Or you'll, my you'll, you'll be able to point? swap at the Aldecaldo camp. Yeah. So I, can, <laughs> I immediately fire up my helicopter and head over there to stream it myself. <laughs> So, oh, you, you're gonna try battle big media on this one? Yeah, you too. So, um, who? 
or, uh, okay. Well, I didn't know if uh, Ezra was also going to take the footage and try to make something of it. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, I don't have any. I was actually just thinking about that. I don't have anything to really record yet, so I'm uh, I'm going to be getting some new cyber eyes with uh, some recorders soon, but I don't have those yet. Okay. Um, but I guess I'm just at home watching this on the news and uh, kind of surprised. And um, maybe I'm just trying to figure out what's going on if I don't have any more information from our like, All right. Uh, after a bit, Amelia, you're able to get Trinity and Cuffs. They are not comfortable cuffs, uh, especially for someone with a lot of like hardware in them. Trinity is able to break these cuffs, by the way. She I would be then, able to. I will then actually zip tie her arms. And, well, you have one solo uh, added to your inventory, I guess. Yeah, for now. Like, sit there, don't move. I listen. I'll be very grumpy about it. I was like, oh, I hate that I had to be like, all right, doing this. And... Yeah, close, close up her container. You know, I, I'm guessing probably one of the tower men are still in the area. Yeah. Okay. Kind of like head over to them and like give them a motion. Yeah, what's up? That container's now an active crime scene. It doesn't move. Like, got it. I'm like texting the group, being like, grab while grabbing my rhinoceros and being like, what precinct do they go into? I'm on I my like way. <laughs> Text the boss. Yeah, precinct three is where you're going. Okay, wait, wait, call it my sarge. Hello. Yeah, so this Max Tech calls a fucking joke. This is not even a psycho. It's a self-defense case. Are you fucking kidding me? You could see it on the media. What kind of cyber psycho can you put in handcuffs that will sit here quietly when told to do? Uh, usually the intelligent ones. <laughs> really? I've never seen that happen once. Uh, a couple times. Uh, usually there, there, there was one in the exact zone and one that, that, that kind of went a Look, little over I on the drugs, but... I've seen enough of them. This Bri person has no shine of tin chips. Can you just bring her down so we can get a, just get a statement and also get N54 off of our backs? You got it. I don't want I don't want Miss Hayes trying to get the scoop on this and then suddenly it's going to turn into a big mess. You understand? Groovy. I will grab the you know I, yeah. I will get the phone and grab Trinity. And like, come on, we gotta take a trip to the station. Yeah. If, if uh... okay. If Gamer Girl's there at this point, she will be pointing out that uh, this is not a cyber psycho attack, just a case of uh, uh, self defense taken out of context by idiots. Yeah, and as I um, you know, lead Trinity away, I'll respond to the group message. I will send them the, the file that I have to everyone and, let, and even send them a couple screenshots of mine and Trinity conversation. That way, Bedlam doesn't go burn down like you. Um, also, Ezra, you now have one piece of solid evidence if you want to put that out on the air. Solid evidence of, of what? That uh, Trinity's not a cyber psycho? Yes. Correct. No, well, I mean, I, I guess that, but you, you, I think you have plenty of evidence, like, showing, like, yeah. Trinity actually being very conscious of what she's doing. You know what? I'll take my hoverboard over, and I will, uh go for a little search around her um, if, if Gamer Girl's still over there and stuff maybe we'll check out her cube and see if there's any evidence that we can get from her cube yeah. that might back that up further. It'll take uh, you a little right. while to get there. Well I have that hoverboard so that's yeah. however yeah, many kilometers an hour, 34 kilometers an hour. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm already eyes in the sky. So. <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe if Gamer Girl can even just go in and search for me then I don't even have to really go. Um, per se. Oh, yeah. I should have some more yeah. evidence um, than one item. I guess my own testimony could count as evidence, too. Oh my god, Bethlehem. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so it's... Bedlam the lawyer, love it. So I, lawyer Bedlam. I suppose this is a wrap up, though, uh, get, getting around here. Um, Ezra and Gamer Girl, can I get a perception check from you two working together to uh, pull evidence on what you're seeing? And then we're going to jump to Precinct 3. Okay, then I'll put four points of luck into it. Okay.
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put my four points of luck into it as well. Why not? Uh, plus four for this. All right. So eighteen for Gerda. So between the two of you, you're able to find that her place is it's surprisingly clean. It's not like what a cyber psycho hole would be looking like. Um, mm -hmm. appears to have like well taken care of weapons. Uh, mm -hmm. like the, the the place is very clean. Pulled together. You guys have videos of Trinity like mm -hmm. actually enjoying herself, like laughing yep. and yep. aware. Uh, what I would be looking for is any pictures of, say, like family or friends or any kind of correspondence. There is Trinity. Is there a picture of you and your brother in in there by chance? There definitely be a pi picture of me and my brother. There would be that then. Okay, I find the most recent one. I uh, suppose, and that will be part of my evidence, along with any other kind of. I suppose what you suggest we already found. Yeah. Well, you got your four. So go ahead and give me that uh, credibility to see what you can do against uh, N54. I could have brought uh, too, you know, uh, medical records. Oh yeah, and the medical records. So yeah, that, that it's gonna be solid. So you got a 50-50 chance of this, uh, of the local neighborhood being fine with Trinity. You got this, Ezra? I, I'm hesitant to roll. Can I, can I do this? Can I, we'll, we'll try it now. If I fail, I fail. Oh, another Hey! hey! Nice! <laughs> I rolled it. Yeah, nice. That All right. Likely, that was not a very likely outcome. I think I had to roll a three or under, so. So during this, well, no, it was five or under. Um, gamer girl, your people are immediately trying to storm the tower. Like, they are, they they are angry people. Guys, guys, that we we don't need we don't need violence. Charismatic impact. <laughs> yeah, I I get you appreciate Trinity, but this isn't what she would want. Not what I'd want. If the battle glove don't quit fit, we must quit. Yeah, if if, if if you want them beaten up, you'd you'd much prefer to do it yourself, right? That's true. That's very true. <laughs> so I'm gonna need a uh, charismatic yeah. impact. For... Uh, well, that eight. I think that does. I I don't think that's going to do anything to a uh, large group of fans. I don't think it will. So, well, that that's that's becoming a real uh, pot of shit, ain't it? <laughs> so let's see. What are you? Uh, what rank are you? Rank, rank five. Rank rank five. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, they they are uh, very pissed off people. So they they. Despite what you're saying, they're they're getting involved, and there is a fight between many of your fans and the uh, and the tower men going on. Meanwhile, at precinct three, Emilio, Bedlam, Trinity, you guys are brought into a room, and Sergeant sitting um, at at table. Can I uh, do a, a wardrobe style for my mismatched business wear? Please do so, but I will impose one of my minus twos. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. You can fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty fly for a nomad guy. Um. <laughs> Well, looks like you're in a bit of a bind, it looks like. Uh, how about you guys have a seat and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a discussion over this. Is this like a cop talking to us? Yeah. Why don't you leave the fucking room and give me some time with my client, you fucking oinker? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, the, the, right, the, 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 the kind of look over at Bedlam. He, he knows. He, he, he ain't buying your outfit, man. <laughs> and that. All right, continue. I, <laughs> and that, I think, is where we're going to leave today's session. So, wow, uh, I, I, I decided that some some chaos needed to get stirred up here at the end of session. We're going to go ahead and make our way around the table here, starting with Bedlam. All right, uh, I'm Sean. I played Bedlam today, and I, I'm always having fun with this character. And I'm having fun playing with y'all, with all y'all, and uh, I am glad to keep continuing and doing it. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, I hope everybody in chat had fun, and uh, I hope you all have a good week. All right. Nick. I'm Nick. I was playing Ezra Rockwell today, and uh, love playing with this group. Always love throwing dice with Diamond. And, uh, yeah, we really appreciate everyone who can join us live. But we understand it's kind of like during the day or not the best time. So we really appreciate everyone who catches up with us either on YouTube, Twitch, or... Uh, anywhere else you catch us, Spotify, whatever. We appreciate you listening to us. Ah, Craven. I'm Ah Craven. I played your uh, wonderful uh, nomad, uh, not nomad, lawman, Emilio Brighton today, helping out the nomad and the rest of the group. Uh, it was fun to get into a cage match and uh, be there and help get Trinity out of uh, out of trouble with the cops. The first time is free. I can just discuss rates after this, though, Trinity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I say? It's great to be here. Uh, special shout out to though Diamond today though for their one year anniversary. You guys should go check out some of Diamond stuff today because they've been doing a lot of stuff. If you're not going to plug Thank it. You. I will, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Happy um, to be here. Yeah. All right, Jack. I am Doctor Jack, and I was playing Sparks. And yay, I live. <laughs> um. Gotta give it up, uh, Kiwi, Ock, oh my god. That was, that was incredible. So, always, this is a wonderful group. I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. I'm glad that all of you out there in TV land have enjoyed and will continue to enjoy. Sasha. Hi, I'm Nefaki Sasha, and I was playing Gamer Girl, aka Veronica Santiago. And uh, I'm glad to, that uh, you all came to watch us throw dice and have some shenanigans. And I was also moonlighting as a uh, job shop as well. One of my uh, offline characters. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as as uh, Tequila would say, make sure and uh, circulate those URLs. And finally, Kiwi. Uh, I'm uh, Kiwi Waste. I've been playing your... Solo Trinity Silver. I had a lot of fun today in both the cage match and the, you know, the chaos that ensued later. <laughs> and I uh, hope I don't get arrested, but I fully trust my lawyer, so I know everything will be fine. Oh, you've been arrested at this point. I've well, I mean, like in home. jail. In jail. Hope I don't go to jail. That's the better way to say it. Well, that, or you might need to find a new neighborhood. <laughs> but. <laughs> Of course, I'm Diamond Dust. Um, I love GMing. I've enjoyed running Elf Lines with this group. You guys have been a fantastic group so far. And I know today was a little bit more focused around solos, but with us hitting like uh, basically what we're, we're, we're on what? 23 episodes. We're almost 25 episodes. You guys, it, it's been a fantastic run so far. Um, I, I have not killed anyone yet. N not for, not for a lack of trying though. You <laughs> guys, twice. Uh, close, but it's not for a lack of trying. Um, uh, I, I know meant, I, I meant, I, I'm terribly sorry, but yeah. Oh gosh. 69 hours. Holy fuck. Have we hit 69 hours? Giggity. Nice. Right. Nice. 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 Can we get a nice in the chat? Um, <laughs> but uh, on that note, um, of course, uh, today also does. I, I'm glad I got to s kick off my one year of streaming, uh, like my anniversary with uh, these people. 
So yeah, um, of course, I will be over at uh, my channel tonight. I'm not sure what's all going on because uh, one of our other events got canceled, but we'll, we'll make something happen. However, Sirenscape, are you guys on tonight? Uh, let, let's, let's, let's see if Sirenscape is on tonight. Um, and also, uh, on top of that, uh, High Riders, are you guys on tomorrow night? I believe so. Unless something happens between now and then, I believe we are. Sweet. All right. And of course, um, I'll be back again on Saturday for another round of Cyberpunk Shanghai as Tequila is trying to finish his job and try to get home safely. Because I would feel bad if he... It, yeah. <laughs> you bet. You better be safe, Jim. <laughs> I, I I know you watch these vods. The the camaraderie <laughs> between you guys, it's amazing. Um, and of yes. course, there will be more to come from me over here. Hopefully, if you know Rob and the team will have me, which of course, Cyber Nation Uncensored. Thank you to the audience. Yeah. Thank you. And I think I will uh, let us get out of here. So, on that note, guys, you have a fantastic day. Stay safe out there. And yep. have a good Keep night. Keep your URLs. Bye. 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 Have a good time. Thank you.